I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things. The hand that mocked them and the heart that fed, and on the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. Joel, you'll have to give us a recap. A we are recording. Woohoo! We're going to start session number three, The Lost City. We're going to do a quick recap because uh, we're running a little behind. We have uh, missed two sessions in a row due to inclement weather here in New England. Glad to be back. Still I think, I think, I think, I think inclement is understating it, but okay, I'll go with that. <laughs> I mean, I didn't miss it, but you How guys... How you know, Mike? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I, I check the weather app for Shelton every day just so I know how miserable I'm not. Just so you can laugh. <laughs> just so you can laugh. Exactly. I checked my weather app this morning when I woke up. It was minus two degrees out. Minus five and a half. Minus five and a half here. Probably a lot colder up in Waterbury. There's melting and not melting. You know what? Minus two, <laughs> minus five. It's a difference. You know, I don't understand this concept of wind chill. If it's if it's two degrees outside and it feels like negative ten, why tease me? Just say it's negative ten. I don't, I don't want to. I don't care that it's two degrees. If it feels like negative ten, is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I feel like my car is going to side with me on this one. Sure. All right, back to the recap. The party started their adventure outside the treasure room of the Brotherhood of Worm. They debated as to whether they wanted to go back into the treasure room and fight the killer bees that were flying around. And they ultimately decided they didn't want to take the chance on getting stung and, and poisoned to death. We were smart. Plus, they knew that <laughs> the treasure poison. belonged to the Brotherhood of the Gorm, who they may need to rely on for some food, water, or support later in the adventure. So they they left it alone. They continued down the path uh, to the staircase that led to tier number three of the, the pyramid. <laughs> the party started exploring tier number three. The most unusual feature of the floor was a mechanical um, hallway moving device of some sort that, that worked like a, a rotating hallway that it, it would move to one of eight different directions. You know, if this uh, this city ever becomes unlost, they could charge admission for this attraction. The party found the room with food and water. They replenished their supplies. I believe that was right they, there. They also found the uh, entrance to the next level right there. on a mysterious trapped sp uh, spring floor in one of the rooms. Where was that, Joel? That was here, right? Right. Mikey, can you see my mouse to see where I'm, I'm highlighting and moving around? Yes, I can. Okay, so right there. And the party interacted with the other two uh, groups of or the factions of the ancient city, one being the Magi of Musa Magaris and the other being the warrior maidens of Madarua. The Magi uh, they were, were friendly enough, and they explained their, their history. Actually, all three factions were pretty friendly to the party, but the party learned that they all, to some extent, compete with each other for the right to restore the ancient city to its past glory. Okay. And they also warned the party of the priests of Zargon, who were Zargon, what we could consider a fourth faction who uh, thrive on evilness and um, control terrible monsters and appear to also possibly control the, the great underground city, which the party has been unable to gain access to so All right, far. Joel, just to recap. So this room on the right, that is where the maidens were, correct? That's correct. And then this room on the left, 
where the Magi were. That's where the Magi were. Yeah, and the okay. other rooms in, in the, this level were either abandoned shrines of some sort or just various little storerooms. The party did encounter a number of minor uh, monsters oh, and, and, and uh, enemies to fight. Wandering monsters. They defeated the pit viper. They defeated the spinning cobra. They defeated the draco. They found the body of a dead thief that still had some treasure on um, his body. Best treasure we got. They found a number of oil beetles that were uh, trying to uh, break into the food supplies. Hmm. So that's what the adventure focused on: was the interaction with these two other factions, learning the layout of the third tier and finding their way to go further down. The party did gain a number of experience points. Most of them did not gain enough to um, move to the next level. Hopefully, after one more session, they'll be able to do that. All right, so guys, the question is, do we want to finish exploring this level or proceed down? Finish exploring the level? Finish exploring, yeah. Is that a question? <laughs> just make, where, where, what, what room were we in, Joel, when we, we finished? We together, right? You guys were just <laughs> leaving here. We were leaving the maiden's room. The last thing you found was what well, appeared to be a member of the the norm who was sure yeah. in his psychedelic uh, dream-like state, <laughs> who wandered away, who, who went into the mechanical device and unfortunately probably moved it so that you, you may not be able to gain access to it until it lines up with you again. Okay. We established there was a, there was a secret door in the top of that... That room with the maidens, but we couldn't get near it? Is that what that orange is? Right. Well, the room was full of the maidens, so just, although you, you did find it. Was it a secret door? Oh, and by the way, just to confirm, I think only one of us leveled up. We got 1929 hit points. That's and uh, Ducat? Ducat's clear side leveled up. Yeah, you, you did find the secret door, but since the room was full of... Eight or ten maidens. You weren't about to yeah. go. All right. Did I take hold person or chant? How many? I would have said hold person. I would go for hold person as well. Hold person it is. All right. K or girls. Bed. I'm finishing the level I'm on. Well, hurry up because you're, you're you're killing the recording. So Ducat, you're the cleric mage. How many extra hit points did you get when you leveled three. up? Three. And what level are you now? I'm a level three cleric, level two magic user. How many uh, level spells do you have now? I have, um, oh, you know, I probably got an extra second level spell now that I think about it. Think you did, yeah. So I'll have to go back and look at that. But. Yeah, you can tell me and tell everybody what your new hit point total is and what your new spells are. My whopping hit point total is 14. Oh, better. It's better than 12. Three is good for you because you're a hybrid. You don't yes. get a lot of hit points. And you're a level two cleric or a level three mage? The other way around. Level three cleric, level two magic user. I should have three first level and three second level spells now. Mm. So I guess I take cold person twice and chant once. Yeah, why sure. not? That sounds good. And uh, you got your intelligence or your wisdom bonus. That's the wisdom bonus gives me those. Okay, okay. So, all right. Oh, we did confirm that for first edition rules, Josh in theory could wear metal armor and cast mage spells at the same time. But... Josh doesn't like that. He does, for the flair of the magic. Understood. Stand back, magic user. <laughs> with me, with the bomb. <laughs> All right, so uh, we can't. We go to the door and we can't get through it, Joel. Right. So in the meantime, where are we? We're we're in my house with, playing D and D. With the maidens. We we're in the hallway having the part of the maidens. Okay. Yeah. And the 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 rotating cylinder has rotated away from us. And what do we see? Is there a door that you can't open? So we're in a hallway with two doors. The, the, the doors behind us lead back to the main. There's no button or anything, Joel? And the door in front of us no is sort of the elevator with the spinning string. Can we run it on the outside of the mechanism? Like, help us? Yeah, that'll do a lot of Well, we could go back into the maidens. I knock on the door really loud. There's got to be a way to call it. Hmm. We could go back in the maidens, but they didn't want us going to that door to the north. They told us... Why don't we go ask them for help? Yeah, why not? Ladies. It should be a magic user or an elf. Or a... It's the maidens. Ashley will talk. Oh, it's Ashley, that's right. They like the gals. All right, so we hit... I have a 12th person. <laughs> and you're a dwarf. 
right, so, so Pandora sees you coming back in. She's like, you know, what else can we do for you now? Well, the, 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 we can't open the door now. The thing spun and we can't open the door. This is Ashley speaking to girl. Is there another way out of here? No, no, but go back out in the hallway. I'll, I'll see if I can help you. Just give us a few minutes. How do we call the door? Oh, just to scare me. Well, we don't really. We just, okay. We, we, we wait until it lines up, but maybe there's a way we can help you. Go. Okay, we'll go wait. All right, so... Um, You're, you're very patient. You wait about 15 minutes, and then you hear a grinding, uh, the, the, the usual grinding, and, and it stops. Oh. And can we open the door? And the door opens. <laughs> Is Pandora in there? No. Okay. No, somebody did something. Do we have any idea what number we are in the mechanism right now? Are they, are they labeled by numbers or by, by direction, Joel? Um, oh, no, they're labeled by direction. N, S, W, S, N, W. So it's presumably it's now E. Right. right. So do we want to do E or S E? Let's do E or W. I want to go S E. You want to go S E? Let's do S E. Fine. We're doing S E. Magic probably the maidens probably came from the northeast anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. We wouldn't okay, want to so, embarrass them. So, uh, hey guys. Oh, hey, what do you guys? We'll give them time to get back. <laughs> yeah. So Darter points out. Okay, we just rotated three. Three eighths. Of a circle, hmm. so the door opens into a hallway that points out of this door. Southeast. Way I draw. One of the two directions we haven't explored with the revolving hallway. It opens into a hallway that goes 60 feet directly south. It's and then, curious. And then curves, uh, turns to the east. These people would all be trapped and never be able to reach the surface if we broke this. Like this, Joel. <laughs> uh, directly south. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't think that would 60? advance our aim. Yeah. That, that right? Sure One, two, are. three. No, it'd be fun. That's 60. That'd be more of a chaotic, yeah, evil kind of thing, wouldn't it? That's it? And I was reading up on my ranger today. If I do any evil thing, I'm no longer a ranger. ranger. You fighter. just go to be a fighter. Yeah, so I'm going to say no, we shouldn't do that. That would be bad. Agreed. <laughs> Mikey, can you see me drawing the lines? <laughs> but bad. What's that one? Can you see, are the lines showing up for you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So like that, Joel? All right, so I guess we, you know, Mike takes out his, his uh, nine foot pole. <laughs> no, eleven foot. Yeah, eleven, 11 foot. foot. And we, you know, and, and we pole. proceed down the hallway, listening, looking, searching for traps. Cautiously. Cautiously. And hit doors. I look to see if the uh, construction is any different down this hallway. Jeff napped and drank tea today. He might make it. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. Wait, was it herbal tea or was Gardner, it? Gardner uh, says to himself, you know, I gotta build one of these someday. <laughs> so cool. He'd probably do a little better. Oh, he's so putting the DM screen up, oh, guys. Oh, oh boy. You guys make your way to the down to the end of the hallway. Nobody finds anything of note. Okay. I just like to point out for the record that my eyes are so bad I've gotten so old that the DM screen prevents me from seeing nothing extra because I can't oh, see anything. Oh, amen. Yeah, yeah. He's also high enough that I can't see anything. So it's curious. As you get older, the DM screen for an older crowd is... Uh, not, superfluous? Not, really. Yeah, it's superfluous. <laughs> the purpose of the DM screen for me is to have the... Charts. Quick, the quick uh, access to the charts. <laughs> the charts on the back of want. the DM screen? At first I was wondering, why is there a music staff? See, on the back my two hit does not change for clearance. It works the other way. I can't see it. Four changes. That's, that's, that's true. I'm going to hide my yeah. role. <laughs> Now that so, I've had more, a little bit more straight, I would say... I don't want to know what song was on the back of the uh, game screen over there. From, from an angle, it looked like that was a music staff with the different <laughs> gradations of... of anyway, we got to the corner. We look, we look around the corner. Yeah, the, the chart. Yes. <laughs> it looks like lines for black, little space, lines for... Yeah, from a distance, oh, okay. it looks like... A, Mikey, there's a lot of bright, shiny objects tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, no worries. Have I explained this before? Yeah. Sorry. And by the way, we still haven't found a restroom water closet <laughs> anywhere in the Good temple. WC. That's what that secret door was in the ladies' room. <laughs> yeah, that's the ladies' That's room. why they didn't want us to go back then. Yeah. Wouldn't that be terrible if the maidens were the only ones who had a ladies' room? Well, we're men. The world is a urinal. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that northern door is what they were guarding. Who's leading the group? Who's leading the group? Uh, Mikey. Yeah, I'm leading the group. Not, not Mikey. Uh, Eldane. I'm pretty yeah. close. 
Right, Eldane. Right, right, so El, when Eldane peeks around the corner, he sees that the hallway goes 40 feet to the east and ends at a door. Now, is this hallway dusty like the others? Do we see footprints? So, Joel... Is that, is that shimmering? Yes. It is, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that your computer, or is that the screen? Or is that the when you say 40 feet, does that include the corner? Yeah, including the corner. So, one, two, three, four. Four. There. Oh, it's ridiculously annoying, I know, but there's not much I can do about it. Oops. There's the door. Oh, by the way, this weekend we saw uh, the movie Boyhood, which took 12 years to film and follows a kid from the age of like 6 to 18. Something like that. Oh, was it good? It was not bad. It was pretty interesting. All right. Ethan Hawke. So that's stunk for zooming in because I lost the, I lost the grid when I zoomed in. It looks like the grid zoomed in, but the picture did not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you found an undocumented feature of paint. <laughs> All right, my door. Uh, okay, so Lucas and Field is it locked? Check for traps. Check for hidden doors. Yeah, you see an Check. iron door at the end of the corridor. Ooh, iron the door, door has three mm -hmm. lightning bolts engraved on it. Oh. <laughs> When you come within ten feet of the door, it starts to glow with a crackling blue light. I, I step out. Step away. I get away. Yeah, I, I step back. I race down the hallway and turn the corner. <laughs> yeah, as you step back, the glowing ceases. So my guess is this is the Brotherhood of Gorm, and you got to be one to get in. Mm. The lightning bolts were the symbol of Gorm. Were the lightning bolts the symbol of Gorm, Jules? I don't seem so, to recall that. Yeah. And yeah, because he, he was the guy who had the lightning bolts at the time. I was kind enough to give you a very detailed description of all three of the factions. We were kind enough to not read it. <laughs> no, we read it, but then it's been four weeks since we last played. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I appreciate that. <laughs> you guys Good copy. Me an extra copy. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> I got it all this in the book. Joel's got it all committed oh, to memory. That's right. Gorm is the god of war, storms, and justice. So so that's all useful information. Under the armor, each one has a small blue lightning bolt tattooed on their right shoulder. Every brother of Gorm has this lightning bolt tattoo on their right Anybody shoulder. Anybody want to get a tattoo? Dwarf? I read today on NPR they're working on a cream that removes tattoos instead of the, uh, the laser prism. But anyway. You know, it's curious That's to me. When my kids get one, I'm going to threaten them with the overall sander. <laughs> it says here that the Brotherhood of Gorm consider lightning storms to be holy, but outside. how often are they outside since they live underground all the time? Yeah. <laughs> it's curious. Maybe they have a wind star. Maybe they do. They do. It's the store. All right, so the fact is, I don't think we're getting through this door. How close was he to that door when it started to crackle? About 10 feet. Mm -hmm. Could he poke it with a stick? Well, he'd have to try and see. Could he, could he reach it? He can't reach it. He's door. got an 11-foot pole. It's a 10-foot square. <laughs> the pole moves from 10 feet to 9 feet to 11 feet. What is it, extendable? Yeah, yes, it's telescopic. Have you not seen the pool, the, 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 the yeah. thing I used to vacuum the pool with? <laughs> that gets on like 18 feet. <laughs> He's got a one or two foot reach with his arm. I guess he can hold it up. Don't be, don't be jealous of my pole. Oh, hey, oh. Boy. But Look, it, it's not the size of the pole. It's how you use it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Are there any secret doors in that portion of the corridor? Because we didn't check for secret doors around the Oh, corner. no, I was checking for secret doors every step of the way. Nobody finds any secret doors. Okay. Well, we could have a invisible master. We could use magics to open the door with safety for ourselves. No, we can go find that Brotherhood of the Gorm guy who's wandering around hmm. and drag him down here. Certainly. Or ask him the nature of the door. The sword, Mikey Sword wants to know why you guys are so afraid to go. Because we don't like lightning. Yeah, really. Why are you guys so afraid to go? Let's just walk up there. Okay, Mikey, you show us what happens. What's the name okay. of the sword again? I can't remember. He had a name, right? Bait? The sword? Yeah, didn't your sword have a name? Wasn't it bait? <laughs> <laughs> Is it <in> jail? <laughs> no, I, I don't think it can. I mean, if it, if it does have a name, Joel didn't give it to me. It's a long sword plus two, intelligence of 14, it has the ability to detect the evil, it's got an ego of five, wow. we can locate objects, and it speaks common. Okay. That is a pretty awesome sword. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Well, do you guys want to go try northeast? And hold off on southeast for a little bit? I, sure. 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 I don't feel like getting zapped by lightning right now. We could, I was thinking, if Master would agree, use an unseen servant to open the door and allow it to be taken by the lightning. 
assuming that it doesn't recharge. Well, wait, I was to say, we're making an assumption that we're going to get zapped by lightning, correct? I mean... But we are. Actually... I mean... It could, be, it could be blowing warmly and welcome. It's true. <laughs> it would just be a, like a tickly... Uh... Yeah, sort of like a, like when you touch something right. in the middle of winter and you get a static yeah. electric shock. You could send a Joel, I'm going gonna, gonna to walk back up to where, it's, <laughs> I'm to not where sending... the, the lightning bolts start to glow again. There's no okay. way I'm sending Mephistopheles up All there. Three of them glow? Oh, when you're uh, within 10 feet, uh, the door glows. The door glows, but not the lightning bolt itself. No. Okay, do I, do what, as move. the door starts to glow, do I feel any different? Can I sense anything? No. No, it's just a, a, a kind of a crackling blue glow. A crackling blue electric, say electric blue glow. Yeah. How do, you, how, how do we know what electric is? This is like the... Because I am studying under a master who knows how to cast lightning from the skies. We know electricity, we can cast lightning bolt. And we also have, I also have electric... Wait, do you know that lightning bolt is electricity, or do you just know that it's lightning? I can cast Shocking Grasp. Surely I must know some of the rudiments of... Right, I'm going to continue, to, I'm gonna continue to cautiously move forward, Joel. That's an interesting question. Yeah, you know, I mean, nothing different happens uh, the closer you get. You know... Okay, so am I in front of the door, then? Yeah, okay, you're we within the access of the door. <laughs> okay. Is the door? Can well, I, was the door? Yeah. I, I, I see any traps or is the door go? locked? I don't know. You're, I check the door to see if it's locked. You're in touch to find out. Uh, so you get an electric shock and you take three points of damage. Oh boy. Okay, so now we know that. Electrical oh. damage. Sorry. Yeah. Night, guys. Good night, Amy. Good night. We scared her off tonight. <laughs> okay, so now we know, at least yeah, for real, yeah. that you can take damage for the door. She's not feeling like great. She's tired. Does anybody have rubber soled shoes? Hmm. Hey, Joel. No. Is the quarter that spins metal, or is it the quarter that spins? Is that metal, or is it stone? Oh, stone. Kevlarn advances to Eldane. Do you require he healing, my friend? No, I'm good. I only took three points. We're good right now. Yeah. That'd be like a quarter of my hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the door, you were not able to turn it, right? You got shocked before you could manipulate the door. Uh, um, just, yes, I got shocked when I door. attempted to manipulate the door at all. Okay. Right. So as soon as I touched it, I got shocked and took three points of damage. Uh, if you poke oh, it... ten-foot pulse metal? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Knock out or something. Just dig it into the ground, let it fall and touch the door, and let it discharge through the pole. Wood doesn't conduct. Yeah, and if it was a metal pole, it would be incredibly heavy. It should be yeah. a metal. You do a right. sword. Hey, hey uh, Mike, why don't you give me a dexterity check? Okay. Right. See if you roll your dex dexterity. And it might not discharge into the rock or the stone. That's true, too. It'd be hard to ground. That'd be a curious. Spectacular, I need it. Okay, I was you were the in the door. process of getting the yeah. shock. You were able to determine that the door is locked. Hmm. Okay. So in, in the process of getting shocked, the door is locked. Correct. Okay. If the door is shocked, it must be locked. Now this is quite it's a locked, much better defense system than back in the days of uh, Garotten. Remember they just had the entire closet blow up? <laughs> this is much more effective, I think. Well, for the moment, I'm, I'm yeah, not I guess we, I guess we go back and we go to the northeast one. Yeah. yeah. Unless anybody's got thoughts. I got nothing. Uh, nope, we just back up. I'm okay. good with that. Northeast. Terrified by the rat, also for rational thought. <laughs> just as you get to the door, you hear the grinding. And, uh, grinding? Well, your timing was just really lousy. I rolled with one on uh, E20. Duh! God, I'm constantly waiting. Does it spin 180 and come right back to us? Nope. Uh, Darter was able to tell that it, it spun around uh, seven eighths. Mm. <laughs> Not just one eighth? Thank you. It, it, it goes seven eighths or, or just eight. So oh, okay. It doesn't go the quickest way. Can we just smash? Like the elevator will go up and then we'll down. The elevator won't go up and down. Like Can we smash this rock facade and then just get behind the machinery and then slip through to the to where we want to go? 
no, I guess we shouldn't break the main primary means of transportation for the people of this and world. And make it more efficient for the use. <laughs> <laughs> if we just poke a hole in the wall and crawl into that, that circular chamber, yeah. it would make it... If you tell me a wandering monster shows up in a sealed hallway, <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> It sucks the ending for adults sometimes. A dragon comes. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Did you push the button? Let me. I'm gonna push the button. You didn't do it right. Okay. All right. So I guess we'll take time no, tapping in the door. A wandering monster can come out of one of the two doors, though. It can come out. It's if he comes out of the door we're at, then the the the, 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 the always in the right place. Yeah. All right. So what happens? We are waiting patiently because we got nothing else to do. Waiting patiently. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe we're waiting impatiently. I bring out a snack, have a power bar, a little Gatorade. <laughs> I search the hallway looking for more secret doors. I go into the corner to take a leak. Have we, uh... Hey, Adam, I want you to go down and pee on the, on the door. <laughs> <laughs> While we're waiting... Is, 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 can you get dick damage in d and <laughs> yeah. And you hear the, um, the grinding starting to happen. Okay, so we continuously pull on the door so that if it does go by... And we can open and the door really it quick. It stops where you are. Draw your weapons. And, and the door is opening. Prepare for battle. Yes. Draw your weapons. And as the door opens, there is a very surprised looking hobgoblin there. He, he just stares at you, and he's obviously um, surprised and scared. You, re you recall the hob we found the hobgoblins who came in before us. He might have been part of that yes. original party. I say we take him out quick. I say we talk to him. I start talking to him in Goblin. I assume Hobgoblins speak Goblin. Uh, unless they speak Hobgoblin. There's a Hobgoblin language. There's a Hobgoblin language. And many of you have it. I have it. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I speak it. No? And I speak Hobgoblins. Don't Hobgoblins and Hobgoblins Actually, I speak Hobgoblins. Each other? I don't know about that, but I know dwarves hate them all. I think dwarves hate them, but I think Hobgoblins tend to rule Goblins. But I don't know if I they just... I say, what are you doing here, Goblin? Hobgoblin? Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. Shit. I have every right to be here, human. I have every right to be here, dwarf. We we found <laughs> your we found your dead comrades. We know that we we looking at you. You're now alone. This is obviously not a safe place to be. Well, you better back off because my all my brothers are on their way right behind me. Really? I, I turn. I look behind, behind them. <laughs> I don't see nobody. You don't tell me who you are, you're not getting picked up. Yeah, that's my important. Uh -huh. Leave a message. We must think of five of those a night. Now, hmm. well, maybe two or three nights. That's why we don't have a uh, phone phone. Make either. sure you put yourself in the do not call list. I have. I don't know what its number is. So. And I don't even know if the ringer doesn't ring. Uh, all right. We'll trade information with you, Mr. Hobgoblin. What have you found here so far? When I think of hobgoblins, I think of the brain. It's kind of. Yeah. Oh, so now I think, face. The, I think of the goblin you, from all um, well, the personality. Your voice could you could uh, have your voice match that. Not and, uh, not original Frank. Oh yeah. Those were. Those were does those this were, guy have uh, an electric whip? It would be a Damon Goblin. <laughs> not bad. Okay, Damon, what have you found around here so far? I, I picture uh, Frankie kids. <laughs> I, I picture Hobble mm -hmm. from Labyrinth. Oh, Hobble from Labyrinth. That's um, a good reference. Interesting. Well, this is a very dangerous place. We've I don't think there's any treasure to be found here. We found some. Jingle, 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 we're jingle. Find some treasure. <laughs> Maybe we can collaborate. I can help you find more. You know what? There's a door down here that we're having a hard time getting through. That maybe you have a better better chance of getting through than why us. Are, why? Why are you having a hard time? We, we just haven't been able to get through the lock. It's a, it's a metal door and we haven't been able to get through the lock. I know it's shocking that we can't get through it. Uh, but maybe you could. <laughs> I will not. I will stupid, not stand for stupid dwarves. Even a creature like this putting it in the way of harm. He, he has. So he has so a sword right. drawn. Are you? Are you going to move aside and have me open it? Do you, be my guest. No. I have first claim on the treasure in there. Then go ahead. Do not open the door. It is protected by a spell of magic, and it will harm you if you touch no, it. No, we don't know that it's going to harm him. It's only going to harm. Oh, it's only harm the dwarf. I, I, I'm not going to fall for that. One of our party has already been harmed by it. As Look much as it pains me to say, who's been harmed? Eldane, our rogue. Is that true, rogue? 
As uh, I, I didn't actually feel anything. I'm not really sure what he's talking about. As much as my, my left arm doesn't work anymore, but <laughs> as much as it pains me to tell you this, for I detest your kind, I cannot stand idly by and allow you to be killed oh. through an action. He holds his sword up to you, silence. Put that sword away before you hurt yourself. All right, just let him go now. He's insulted you. He does not believe that it's it's dangerous. We're gonna come down and watch your greatness open the door. This is just this is just not worth it. He's going back into the. He's going back into the. Uh, okay, we're coming too. Hallway. Where do you think you're going? Oh, we're going with you. We're not getting stuck here leave anymore. Outside. Leave him in this hallway. No, you either you either stay out there or you leave and, and leave me in the hallway. All right, always yours. <laughs> Okay, then I want every one of you to get in there and close the door behind you. Absolutely. Or I will slice your heads off. <laughs> oh, great. Almighty Hobgob, you got it. You, you see my hand twitching with my hand. By the way, I'd like to point out, if we were Did all... Did you accidentally slip and stab If we were all 11 years old playing this game right now... He'd this, be so dead. This goblin's already dead. <laughs> we are already rifling through his corpses. I'm going to be honest with you, at, at 40 years old, I'm not sure why he's a lot. Because, <laughs> <laughs> Mike, we're going to let him kill himself. We should have double XP for that. Because we used our brains, and he's still dead. Well, I will point out, I only need 122 experience to level, and even I still am not killing the hobgoblin. <laughs> you want me to hold them for you? So you're sure to get all of it? How big is a hobgoblin? I picture it being like three or four feet from most. Bigger I, than a goblin. Mike's sword is, so like four is um, itching to oh, take a swing at the hobgoblin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's practically pulling you. It's going to take the amount in like 35 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> okay. So we pile in, is that what is there, and we go to the northeast. Board? Okay. And we'll so come back and loot his body. Up up the, the mechanic <laughs> mechanism grinds. It opens up to this um, this hallway here. Stop. I'm going to put a spike in this door and try to wedge it so this thing won't turn without us in it. I I, I think, Master, that, that we question. should be careful. If we do that, we may in turn alienate the Magi and the Maidens who use this common. We'll, we'll, also, uh, we'll also alienate the Hot Papa, which is kind of fun. <laughs> We're not going to be in this area that long. I, I, will, I just don't want to get stuck here again. Perhaps I could wait here and if oh, it and die leave, and bring it back. If that, yes, because you by yourself versus the hobgoblin. That's a fifty-fifty there, buddy. Do you forget that I spent many years in the forests? I can take a mere hobgoblin. Not in your present form. Well, if I'm not permitted to use my sword, I suppose that is true. All right, let's, hobgoblin's not worth discussing. I wedge the door. Try to wedge the door. And your spike appears to be stuck there. Alright, well, so what do we see? Darter looks at you and just shakes his head. Yeah, pretty much. That's not holding anything. <laughs> this mechanism. Thanks, Darter. What do we see, Mr. Joel? Okay, it opens up into a, um, just a short hallway going directly to the east and then oh, turns to a long hallway heading up to the northeast. Something like that. That's it goes up about he's by north yeah, so he just said he just sticks out about ten feet and then just make a line in between those yeah. something like that. Yeah. It goes up it's about sixty feet yeah. to a doorway. Or, or, or rather a door. A door that points to the north. You know, I'm trying to imagine so, like a wow. imagine the scene between a great noble pharaoh. And like his his royal architect, <laughs> yeah, right. and the royal architect right. has like a roll of parchment. Is it a regular door this time, Joel? Master, your, your highness, I have created this. And he unrolls it, door as and it's to this. It's not a it's it's a, it's not a wood door. It's, it's a wood door, not a metal door. It's, it's a hallway that moves. All right, Mikey. Whenever you press the door, yeah. yeah. the bend is great. There when I die, how, how am I going to make that useful to you? <laughs> why, why not just make a big? Circle with a whole bunch of <laughs> oh, I didn't feel that was a problem. <laughs> I see that conversation. There's two Guys, there's two statues here. We gotta check them out. Uh, what do they look like? The two statues. And you see two ten foot tall statues of women fighters. Uh, the fighters wear masks with the face of a female statue on top of the pyramid. The two statues stand with spears outstretched to form an arch. The only way down the corridor appears to be a single file under the cross spears. So I don't like that. I what's see what's, happen? what's happening now is southeast is the home base for the Gorm, northeast is the home base for the Maiden. That's yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this this and, touches and just here. To put a little picture in your mind. There's, you can assume that's Darter, and that's yeah. what the Darter's ugly. That's what the uh, they do look like sort of like. Egyptian warrior princess 
maiden types. Maybe they're maidens of the spirit. Spartan? Yeah. Which kind Maybe of Spartans, makes yeah. me think it was nice how he had all those pictures of the Tomb of Horrors. Yeah, it is nice. It's a great touch. I like uh, that one too. That, that's like drawn in 1977, but that classically looks like a selfie. Like a dwarf <laughs> is taking a selfie. Do you have, do you have, do you have Mikey cell? Uh, cell? Uh, probably. Okay, here, Joel, can we just have a picture of text to him? Oh, good idea. You just hold the picture up in front of the camera. No, because then i got to stop sharing and shit. And, uh, and it gets flaky when I do when I share and stop sharing a lot. Mike, I'm going to text you uh, the picture. Okay. Um, you may have to email me your number, because I'm not sure if I have it. Just email it to me. Jesus. Oh, I'll email it to Here, Joel. you. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody happen to see... Joel's taking a bathroom break. Anybody happen to see the weatherman with the snow thunder? Snow thunder? I, I didn't click on it, but I saw the... I saw the have have any of you ever experienced snow thunder? No, it's, it's, it's a very, very violent. It's a very rare phenomenon. I actually had an occurrence once a couple years ago. I was shoveling the driveway and it happened at the, late at night. Mm. And the guy's like, he's standing there and it happens and there's lightning. And he's like, we got it, we got it. And he's running around. And then he stops and it happens again. <laughs> and he hit the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so it was double... Double snow thunder all the way across oh, the sky. Oh, hysterical! <laughs> the guy was just off his <laughs> rocker. Of water Double snow thunder all glass? the yeah. way. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> all right, Mike. Uh, that is on its way Sorry. into your email box as we speak. Okay, thanks. Sorry about how you get hard. Sorry as well. Uh, Mike, get it? Yep. Oh well, yeah. it's on its way. Uh, yeah, I'll, it'll it'll pop up in my yeah, email in a second. I'm sure. Well, two and a half. You count the other purple. Is that one of my? Oh, incredible before I forget, there's a giant, giant amount of bagels over here. Take some. Is that one of my Ooh, incredible wow. dry cookies? Wow. I'm not going to be here for no, that much longer, my friend. Take two home. There's ten bagels. Take two home. All right. Well. They're only plain. A couple garlic. A couple onion. I mean. Thank you. My mother got them for free. Where are we standing? Yeah. Well, we're standing at the statues. Looking at it with his thumb up and a big smile on his face. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> That's darter. <laughs> it's all rock. It's all stone, all chiseled out. Ashley approaches it. I was gonna say, being the girl. Ashley up there first. Just because I want to watch her walk. Okay. She pokes. She pokes Adam in the eye as she walks by. <laughs> I need to look out of the other eye. <laughs> Wait, which of my three eyes? <laughs> If she gets up to the you know, right, even with the statue, does she, does she notice or feel anything? No, they are ten to fall statues, so they're just look up on them. Okay, two options. She touches one, or she runs and dives through as quickly as she can. <laughs> like you never have a story. If she just walks slowly, they'll lower. That's not picture. And remember, none of us are eligible for Gorm because none of us follow the Lawful. path of lawfulness. Yeah. yeah, but Mike got hurt. I don't want Ashley to get hurt. Mm. I'll make her better if she gets hurt. I'll fish and make her better. We'll cuddle. All right, Ashley attempts to slowly walk through the spears, under the spears. Mm -hmm. Does she succeed? Yep. Nothing, nothing ordinary happens. So there we go. Come on, big boy. She looks at Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to walk through the spears slowly. Watch out which part goes first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing happens. I make it under the spears all the way through the other side. Can you come back? Uh, well. Nothing happens. I will slowly walk as well. Okay. <laughs> Nothing happens. You get, you get past. I did it. Do we inspect the statues? Is there anything written on them? On the base? Or? No. You just, they wear masks. Face of the female statues and top of the thing. Or the, the maidens. I got nothing else. I guess we go through. We just go through. Don't touch them, I guess. We're going to see the maidens again. Do we have anything new to say to them? <laughs> Not Hi. yet. Hi, look how we're in the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go. So, either way, mm -hmm. makes their way through. 
I suppose the door's locked. Uh, maybe we should have a few people on the other side so we're not all trapped when the... Too late. Yeah. What is a lightning door? It's a door that makes <laughs> oh, things appear lighter. Get rid of the E in lightning. It, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if I can edit that again. <laughs> I weigh 200 when I touch the door. Now, I'm I'm on the slim fast diet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There, light happier? Yes, thank you. Except they misspelled lighting. Lightning door. I thought it was an electric fire door. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> you're adopted! Alright, so we're up here. Mikey, let's check out the door. Oh, you're going. <laughs> Alright, checking out the door. <laughs> door's locked. That's all it does when you approach. Jay, the door's locked. <laughs> Go up to the door. You're adopted! <laughs> <laughs> no! Alright, can you unlock it? Is oh, it trapped, Mikey? Funny. Mom and Dad uh, never loved locked? me! Is it tra tra checking for traps? Pokey pokey. Rolly rolly, rolly whatever you need me to do, Joel. Uh, the door's locked. There's no, there's no traps. Everybody likes that mustache. What are you talking okay, about? Is, um, <laughs> does there appear to be a mechanism that I can attempt to pick? Yeah. Kind of like the other doors, it's got a little keyhole in it. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to. Is it wooden door, metal door? Uh, metal door. No. Metal, metal door. Okay. So All right, I'm gonna attempt to. It's like a farm built thing. What is it? Heyday. Yeah, never. Yeah. What was this fun to start? Joel, did I go up too high, or is that about right? Like, it's a choice. drag. Yeah. Um, is it going to make a big difference? No. Okay. And, and, and it opens the door. Not a big deal. I've gotten sucked into so many of these. Yep. I'll wait for Mikey to open. What do you got, Mikey? Alright, here we go. Ready to go? I want to get back down here. I did not make it. Uh, remember, I'm not that good yet. I only have like a 45% or a 42% chance of making it. So, Mike, you only need greater than like 3% chance to hit it every time. <laughs> no, that's the hit. This is the pick. This is the open locks. He's not a professional thief yet. He's just a petty thief. Yeah, I'm not a professional thief. I'm just kind of uh, still training. Okay, so that didn't work. Are there any other. Th any... So... Darter! I, I... Darter, take it down. So, so wait, wait, what? Gentlemen, gentlemen, why are we gonna take it down? We know that this is where the maidens are. What what is the purpose? They're gonna let's be knock. Here. Let's knock. That's okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Cast knock. Again, that's something I would not do when I was eleven year old. No. I would never think to knock. Ashley knocks. Okay. There's uh, no response to the door. Ashley knocks louder. <laughs> Scared to the keyhole. You hear a voice from beyond. Who's out there? It's me, Ashley, from the other, from the group that just visited the, the maidens a little while ago. So you, you hear the unbolting of a door, and the door opens, and um, there's two of the maidens in there. Who they're wearing? Ooh. Maiden -y stuff. Masks and we're just wearing stuff. towels. Spears. <laughs> Picturing uh, the eyes wide Porkies. shut. Oh, jeez. Oh. Sorry, we just got out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant. It's a giant Greek no, or Roman, Roman bath. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am that there's finally a bathroom in a dungeon. That makes me very right, happy. Guys, I was Thank thinking you, much more bath than toilet. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, Shower. She invites you in. All right, so we go in. What do we got? Okay. The description of the room. This is a how awesome forty by forty room. Is it? 40 this up and down, or 40 like at, a, at an angle? 40 this way, and 40, yeah, 40 north south, 40 east west. Near the northeast corner of the room is an altar covered with a green and white cloth. Green slide. On the altar sits a three foot tall statue of a woman holding a sword and a sheaf of wheat. Those are the sheaf of wheat. It's a sheaf. That's the magic of. To each you side of the statue us. burns a large white candle. In front of the altar itself, incense burns in three small braziers. Braziers. 
white drapes. Wait, is it? All the walls. Is it are they braziers or are they braziers? I need to know this. This is important. <laughs> it could be too. Yeah. Either would work in this scenario. Are they flaming braziers? Because that is hot. very interesting. Braziers Smoking hot braziers. Braziers. Smoking hot braziers. Is, I, the, is it the back corner, Joel? The room is dust free and some scrub clean Those except for so ceremonial hot. equipment. Wow. Yeah. There is empty. That's I, where the altar is, Joel. Uh, it's well, it's not against the wall. It's kind of bigger. It's. Um, I'm trying to make eye contact. I'm kind of like an, at an angle against the corner of the wall. Corner of the wall. I'm trying like, to like not stare table. at the braziers. I'm trying to make eye contact. This is high school all over again. Like, like that, Joel? Yeah. 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 And you said there were two statues? Oh, no, no, it's more like um, uh, on the altar, so there's a three-foot-tall statue. Is it's it the same the statue as the one up above? <laughs> and to each side of the statue is a large white kingdom. Is that, is that what was original up above? No. No, hey, hey, Mikey, why don't you um, peruse the room, particularly the southern wall, and look for secret doors? I'll go with him. Well, why don't you just okay. tell you. Well, the, uh, remember, the entire length, length of the room is covered by white drapes. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's Toga. all the walls. So you'd have to go behind the white okay. drapes to investigate the wall. This, is there a, a door that leads south into the room of the, the maidens? Don't see any door. No, we're just asking the gals, the, the other maidens, the two maidens that are in the room. Yeah. Thanks. We we were curious. We were just trying to map out the level. Thank you they're for. Just, they're not really sure what to say. <laughs> yeah. so we're with the uh, Department of. Dungeon Dungeon Sanitation. Welcome to the shrine. Did you come here to to pay reverence to? Yes. Uh, yes, I did. Ashley did, and she goes in and she <coughs> kneels before the altar and does her best fake prayer. And <laughs> she's kneeling. <laughs> she genuflex. Uh, the, the other, uh, Even better. the other women there, the two maidens, are just waiting. And they're a little impatient. So, what are you guys up to today? You know, we have we have work to do. Is there something we can do for you? I thought we pretty well explained ourselves in the other room. Do I need to go get Pandora? Do you need to talk to her again? No, we, we were just trying to... Let's, let's not open that box, okay? Quote <laughs> 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 of the night. Quote of the night. That's great. Good, bad, ugly. I don't know which one that was. <laughs> for, forgive us we're strangers in a strange land we weren't even certain that the hallway led back to the realm of the magi you could understand our, our confusion okay well it was nice seeing you again we're, we're trying to get I guess down a, a, a floor here actually there's a door down here with some lightning bolts on it I think the Brotherhood of Gorm are down there oh those guys yeah, is there any way to get into that area? Because we're kind of curious what's in well, there. Well, you have to say the, their secret words and motto or whatever. Oh. And then, then you won't get hurt. Is the secret motto on there, Bob? And we don't go in there because... Why would you want to go in there? Why would you want to go there? Probably a pretty cruddy, dingy place. Maybe it's full Not of treasure. Nice like our, our oh, your, your shrine is gorgeous. But, you know, maybe there's some treasure in there that we could, you know, make some use oh, of. Oh, we're not thieves. Oh. Are you thieves? No. Not all this. No, but, but you know. Extra they're... treasure. But am I mistaken in thinking that the um, the magia of Yumiskara, that uh, Yusa Magira is a god of messengers and thieves as well? Rogues? Uh, that sounds right. Yeah. So they're, yeah These they're are the maidens, all, not the, not the magic. They're misguided as well. Ah. Oh, we're looking at the maidens of Madura. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Sorry, there's so many the factions. Yeah. It can be quite confusing. All right, I don't think we're going to spend anything else time here. Uh, is there an easy way to get down to the next um, the next level down? Because we are looking at getting down to the, the city we've been hearing so much about. Well, I don't know. We have to ask Pandora. We never go down. We have... We have... Oh, never mind. Then we'll be on our way. <laughs> I was thinking that. I, just was gonna, I wasn't going there. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll Thank you so oh, much once again. We won't keep you from your work. Thank you again. Hey, bye. Been our pleasure. Hopefully, we'll see more of you later.
All right, there's still the room in the bottom left. Remember we had that, that funny statue where the, the pink is? And the this, lightning room. The statue moved in the bottom left. Did we ever catch the magic words of the Gorm? We heard them say a few phrases. Mm. Remember, one of the phrases was, Gorm is great. <clears throat> I, I don't have that written down, but I remember that. But I think... That might have been us. Yeah, but I, 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 yeah, but I think no, the reason they said that is because he gave them the chocolate cake. <laughs> that was the, that was the <laughs> only right. reason that they actually said that. I believe it was a little more sing song Yeah, yeah. It was great. Bit, but give us give the, the chocolate, chocolate cake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you already know the way down to the next level. That, that was in a staircase, though, That was, as I recall. Correct. Right. So we were wondering if there was an official way. All right, let's go back and see if we can get in that bottom left room. Because I remember the statue moved and it was in the wrong place. And Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go back to the... What? Unfortunately, the door is not lined up again. Where's my spike? On the ground? <laughs> There's a broken spike on the... Oh, it's <laughs> broken. It's a huge... Son of a... Daughter just uh, gives you the... The smirk? The nod. Yeah. The all-known smirk? Dick. <laughs> Surprised that didn't work. I, this, no, this is why he's evil. This is why he's evil. <laughs> Wait, is that, I, that's how you put that spike in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we wait. See, uh, well, here's the other thing. How After 15 smoking? minutes, it starts moving again. Okay. <laughs> we keep pulling at our door till it lines up when we open our door. All right, and, and it... It opens at your door. So here's the question. Hmm. The doors remain closed when it's moving. If we wedge our... Does the door open into the hallway? Or does the door open... These door, doors all open... Uh, I said it before. Oh, um, I think. Out from the center? It opens whatever way makes the most sense. The door, <laughs> which I guess would be outward. Okay, if we wedge the door open... Then we either get access to the mechanism to the, the non hallway, or it doesn't. When you open the door, the door on the far end of the hallway also opened, mm -hmm. and whoever was in there went out that way. Yeah. Okay, so we hustle across and, and follow through. That is 50 feet. Yeah. That's where you wanted to go anyway. All right, well, when, once you get down there, the person, you, you see the statue in that hallway that moves just moving back to block the hallway so whoever went in there was in there and that was it was probably one of the maidens okay so we, we pushed the statue oh, down I'm sorry one of the magi what, we, wait wait why so interested in locking the, the hallway I mean we understand how it works and maybe sometimes we have to wait 10 minutes but I feel like okay why, why? Okay. <laughs> so th then we'll leave it let's push the statue down I, I will point out it's obviously well used. There's people coming and going all the time. All right. yeah. So here's my here's my thinking. Yeah. If I, if I recall correctly, we push the statue all the way down to the end, right? So it blocks that door at the bottom, that southern door there. Okay. We go in this door. Yeah. yeah. The statue moves, resets, and then we come back and go in there. Yep. And then what will we do there? Rest? Oh, just to get to get stuff. Will we get stuck in there? Potentially. I well, somebody eventually. There's, there's a lot of traffic. Yeah. Reset eventually. Yeah, let's do it. That's our plan. All right, so you move the statue, which moves again like you did before. Yep. And yep. you're going up into the room. Yep. So, once again, the, um, there, there's about 12 of the Magi <coughs> there and say, what are you guys doing here again? I came, Ducat. I came to, to learn a little more about you. Maybe we could we could trade some spells yeah, and, or scrolls or something. I, uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have to get um, Ariga back here to talk to you. Ariga's not here right now. That was the leader of the Magi. Okay. So you wanna just wait over there? <laughs> you wanna just wait over there and, and we'll go find her for you? Yeah, we'll see what wanna, we can do. Want to learn more, a little more? Hey, there's a, there's a, a Brotherhood of Gorm door on the other side of this level that we were trying to get to, and we kept getting electrocuted. Why do you want to go there? They're getting, they're getting a little hostile now. Whoa, whoa, we're not... Why, are they your friends or something? No, 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 no. We were just curious. We're explorers. Just want to see what's behind door number three. Well, 
Well, that's their temple. This is our temple. That's their temple. Okay. Mm, okay. Well, you're fidgety. This right? one seems much nicer. Yeah. yeah, this one's oh. definitely much. That's because <coughs> we're the chosen ones. We're, we're the correct people. They're, they're mixed up. I will say that if I had to choose a faction to join, it would certainly be those of the Badgy. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to join the Stoners. <laughs> <laughs> Your your faction Pilot above all seems Pilates. far more educated and intellectual and knowledgeable of the ways of magic. Well, that that's true. It's just, I, I can't understand why you hang around some of these derelicts, though, looking at Darter specifically. Sometimes we wonder the exact same thing, mm -hmm. and yet diversity is a source of strength. It's what we found. Even though I no longer follow the paths of nature in the woods. I still found that find that it informs my magic. All right, let, let, let. So through the door walks uh, Ariga. She says, "Oh, you're back." Yeah, I was. I, help you now. I was just curious about maybe we could trade some spells or some scrolls or something. Oh. Now, I've got some nice spells in my spell book here. Is there anything that you want to you're interested in or that like you would trade with us for? Since the, the passing of knowledge is one of the uh, one might say that the best forms of uh, sharing known. It's, it's the height of, of what we all try to, to the be. The definition of sharing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come back tomorrow? Okay. And we'll talk about it. Alright, so we turn around and go right back to the hut. Are you going to cancel this in for a particular time? or just? Well, well, wait a second. You guys know the way out. How do they keep well, This is the way we came. We're just going back the way we came. No, no, no. We go, we go up there to that door. Well, that's not how we, we want to go back to well, the way we came. Well, it doesn't matter. That's the way, that's the way you need it. Start a fight. It's not a big deal. Whatever. We go we back all, up. We go up the way they, they tell us. Fine. Oh, I got one more question for you. Just one more thing. Just one more. Just one more. Is there an easy way to call the, the hallway to us so we get the hallway whenever we want, or we always just got to wait for it? Well, you usually have, just have to wait for it, but I mean, we, we've got access to two, two of the doorways, so... It's usually pretty easy for us to get in. You know, that's why we wanted to go back to where we came, because we would expect to still be there. We're in here moving. It's only when those idiots from the Brotherhood of Gorm mess up the alignment that we have to wait. Oh, okay. Well, you never have to wait more than 10 or 20 minutes. Oh, that's good. One more question for you. The, the people who fall beneath this level, they are truly evil. They control monsters of great power. Is that, is that correct? Zargon or the something? Of Zargon? Yeah. Yeah, they're... They're, they're evil, and, and they're very dangerous. You want to stay away from them. Well, they're our not group interested is... in restoring any order. They're just interested in promoting their evil magic. magic. Our group is thinking of going down there and teaching them a lesson, perhaps removing this threat, allowing the Magi to, to live peacefully. Uh, would that be something that would be of interest to your people? Well, you, you and what army? He raises his hands and stretches it. Do you have any idea of the, the creatures that follow... Of Do you have any idea the creatures that followed the high priest of Garatan? <laughs> you are looking at those who solved the terrible mystery of Garatan itself. Well, maybe, you know, maybe you think you can handle these monsters, but we're not going to put our lives in, in danger by fighting dragons and powerful undead creatures. And we are clerics, baby. Cool. Wyverns and hellhounds. And so you're saying then that... Uh, it would be it would be great these terrible things it would be wonderful if, if they could no longer be a problem to you yes it would be great well maybe we can but assist it would, you it would, it would require a great army to defeat them oh fish even, all right even if we teamed up with the other factions i don't think we could hope to defeat all of them is that under our leadership yes you could you've never seen a dwarf <clears throat> fight before never seen a dwarf before <laughs> why are you short and fat okay. Okay, the, dwarf, the dwarf can handle the centipedes, but as far as the rest of the big monsters, maybe those powerful, uh, hostile warriors, the maidens, the maidens can defeat some of the monsters. But it's probably yeah, did you get a hold of Pandora? Did you see what Pandora is wearing today? I mean, this is a girl. Never mind. <laughs> All right, we're heading out. Just like you to know that we are from the land. Beyond, from the land of the stars, we are the ones spoken of in the prophecy. Oh, are we a man, by the way? Oh, have you seen what Pandora's wearing today? Woo! <laughs> Ariga, I'm telling you that we are the people of the that prophecy. That rope leaves everything. To the from the lands beyond, here to unite the clans and drive out so the evil beneath you. <laughs>
allowing all to live in harmony. We hope that we may be able to prove this to you someday so that you might be the first to join with us. Well, what is your plan right now? Other than to leave us. We're going to go down there, scout it out, see what they have, figure out where the best strike is, we'll and then execute where? it. We'll pick that up. We're going, We're going downstairs. Yes. We are. Downstairs oh, to really? learn of their enemy. Well, why do you want to go down there? That's downstairs is where all the tombs are. We want to go down to the city. We want to go to the city. All the way downstairs. Yeah. Way beneath the ground. Do you have? A, can you tell us how to get to the city, or are we gonna have to do it the hard way? Uh, yeah, do the hard way. Unless you were members, we can't. If I became a member, could I bring my friends with me down to this down to the city, or you would only take me? I would just take. I couldn't invite non-members unless I got orders or permission from down there. Express route. So you would take me? Are you interested in being a full member? Well, if I had something to gain out of it by my friends and I making it down to the city, I would certainly be interested, but I don't know what other gain I have right now. Probably doesn't sound like somebody who wants to be a full member. Our concern is that a follower of the, the friendships that we've crafted amongst all of us are those forged in blood and, and pain, sweat and tears. Guts. These are people for whom we would die for. To pledge allegiance to only one faction means to ignore our brothers and our sisters. You can understand how difficult of a decision that well, would that be. that sounds pretty shallow, but then, then I suggest you go join the Worthless Brotherhood of Form. No, we're not there, we're not there. Maybe they would take the shallow people like you, but we, we, uh, we hold our beliefs very dear and important. How many guys are in this room? There's about 12, 12 in there. How good is your sleep spot? No way, you're not making an enemy. <laughs> I don't want to join this. No, I don't. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time. We'll come back tomorrow. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Do we want to go check and see how the hobgoblin did with the door? Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can find the dead hobgoblin body. <laughs> so we'll go back to the Gorm door. Let's well, we'll wait, and then we'll eventually get in. Right. Oh, no. The, the door's lined up you, right there. You can go All on. right. So we head southeast to go see how the hobgoblin did. So the door grinds again, and you get to that hallway. Does it smell like toasty hobgoblin? Burnt hair? Can't really tell from up there. So what's around the corner? You see the hobgoblin lying dead in front of the door. Mm. He probably got burned or shot. <laughs> it's <Where's> the... <laughs> told you. You guys gonna go try to kill him? <laughs> I, I I don't think we have the power. Uh, do we have the capacity to drag him away to loot him? To loot him? All right, let's yeah. loot him. All he's got is a worthless little sword. Worthless hobgoblin. No, oh, any armor? Um, is he, oh, he's no, wearing like hot goblin clothes. Hot goblin clothes, right? Those might be good for the dwarf. And by the way, the door is glowing with his body right there next to the door. <laughs> well, if we um, just throw his body up against the door, you think it's going to short out eventually? <laughs> yeah, I wonder if it's just going to drain it down, run the battery out. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> drain a low quality light. It's tapping <laughs> into the core. It's 1.21 right. gigawatts. It's a lot of drainage. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going for the... Oh, no, wait, wait, if we stand in front of the doors, it's going and say, Gorm is great. Oh, good point. Oh, yeah. Oh, I Try that. And... But I think we have to be lawful. Continues to glow. Yeah, got to be lawful. And we turn around and leave. So, my friends, I think there are two plans of action here. We have two choices, mainly. We go down, and we explore, kill some more things, and see just how big the enemy is. Or you just want to kill rats so you can level up. <laughs> 122 hit points, Josh. That's all I need. Mike Sword is going to ask Mike why he hangs around with such a bunch of cowards. <laughs> or, in the, and I'm ignoring the sword. And the alternative, we can try to infiltrate one person into the two groups that we were able to get into to convince them to join us. But I think it'll be easier to convince them to unite if we show them a couple of victories first. Yeah, I think the only thing that we're missing down in the lower left there is like the, it's probably the barracks for the. I think it's their storeroom. Yes, yeah, so there's probably not much there. At least not much we can get our hands on. So we know the Magi live in the lower left hand corner, the Gorm live in the lower right, and the Maidens live in the top right. Yeah. Okay. Shall we uh, go gear up to go down? I think we've already got our gear. Let's just go down. Let's, All right. Let's th everybody snack up. Don't eat too much. <laughs> oh, you said what? snack up? Yeah. You said stack up. Have a little snack. Uh, do you require healing, Eldane? No, I'm good. I, I am reminded that we haven't slept since we got into this pyramid. Do we want to 
get a night's sleep and then try to tackle the the, the tune level? We did rest up. We, 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 we oh, rest up you? last time in the oh, on level right. above with the, the, the room with the two secret doors. We, you're right, you're right. We copped a squat. Sorry, sorry. Now. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So, Joel, we fast right. forward. We jump back to the room with the temple, and we try to go down a level. Yeah, I want to So, the order shows you how to release the mechanism. Yep. So you don't, don't tumble down and fall on your necks. So the floor uh, hinges down, meets a ramp that heads down into a room. We have to draw the map. How big is this room? And okay, you're, you find yourself in a 30 by 30 room. You're in the, let's say, the, the northeast part of the, the level, as a guard points out to you. Northeast. Remember, not the far north. It's, it's, it's a bigger tier now. Yeah. It's a pyramid. 30. So we have to watch out for centipedes, dragons, chimera. 30 by 30. And undead. Think of it yeah. as a, a dice. That's what they say. Five dots <laughs> yeah. on it. That's you know, like true. Bad example. It's okay. I can make it work. Yeah, okay. And there is a door. Where, where was the ramp, Joel? Uh, in the middle the middle of two squares. Of oh, so the ramp is just dumps us in the room. Yeah. Okay. Dumps us in the room. <laughs> I don't know if it's on. Okay. I don't want to get my eyes. And there is a door on the north wall, in the middle of the wall. Okay, I'm going to use this brighter color now because I got tired of using the, the... That's the new door color. Painted on the walls of this room are court scenes showing King Alexander and Queen Zenobia being entertained by a dwarven jester. <gasps> Jeff! A small coffin. No, it's actually like that. Rests in a niche in the east wall, and in each corner of the room is a large brass jar. Do we know who King Alexandra and Queen Zenobia are? Do we need to make a knowledge uh, check? Or no, you, you picked up enough along the way to know that they were the king and queen of the of the city. When the at the and, time and that the pyramid was built for them. For them, okay. So we're down almost at the base of the pyramid now. Yeah. Yo, Joel, would we guess we're on the on the ground floor of the pyramid at this point? We're on tier four out of the five tiers. I five. would say we're about on tier four out of the five. Thank tiers you, Doctor. for the pyramid. Appreciate you that. knew there were five <laughs> tiers, and you know that there was, was the five first. tiers above ground, right ground level. There could be more beneath. Okay, so there's the coffin, and there's the brass jars. I wanted to pry you along. <laughs> He's very helpful. Might like it better when I fall asleep. Why did I change color? All right, so uh, do we want to check that coffin or the brass jars? Ah, uh, yeah. I think we want to check the brass jars first, probably. I suppose we should check to make sure there's no bat nasties hiding in them. Okay. Uh, I am opposed to yeah. stealing from the dead because I, we, no, we, we have, said we have had things hiding in in the jars before, so. That's just, we should check to see if there's anything vicious in there, but we're not going to take anything. Okay. Unless they were evil, then I'm okay with taking from them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we check the jars. Mikey checks the jars. <laughs> yep, I want to check the jars. All four jars are empty. Just some dust in the bottom. Huh? There's They're a lid. Oh, All right, let's attitude. check the coffin. Oh, Elric uh, speaks to his cat, Mephistopheles who is sort of perched in the backpack and asks Mephistopheles with his uh, keen eyesight and sense of hearing and smell if Mephistopheles senses anything nearby. Um, say that not, nothing, nothing in this room. Okay. Don't go possess Mr. Investigate. <laughs> he doesn't know what that means. No. I don't even know if Jeff gets that one yet. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, all right, so do, are we going to open the coffin or not? I'm going to just take over your familiar. Yeah, I think we should. I, I think we should exactly open it, but we should be ready to. We should be ready to go when I when we open it. Do I notice anything else about the room? It's slower than the room we just came from. No. Do as as a cleric, do I notice anything about the tomb or coffin or anything like that? No. Not, not if I can help it. Is there any markings of any of the three groups we've encountered here so far? No. So it doesn't, it doesn't appear that they worshipped one of the three groups. 
And by the way, it strikes me that these people have it all wrong. They think these are opposing groups, but it's pretty clear they're all together. They're all three statues together. It's all yes. part of the same pantheon. They don't get that. No. We'll also remember that when we try and unite the pawns later. Mm. I was a little early with where the prophecy blooms, I guess. It's, mm. not, it's not time for that speech yet. That time to unite us. <laughs> okay. All right, Mike, can you open it? Do you believe it is this group? <laughs> Mike, you want to open it? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm thinking we open it. Let's go. Okay, Mike, he opens it. Does it look Wait, we're opening sealed? a receptacle of a the, barrier? The coffin. Yeah, I was going to say, does it look like it's Wait a minute. sealed? Wait a minute, gentlemen, why would we open the receptacle of a dead person who means us no harm? I, I don't, wait, 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 we don't even know if there's a dead person in there. It could just be an empty box. Well, that's what I'm saying. We should look to see if it appears to still be sealed. Look, I am no great box we came across. I am not comfortable with this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we need to okay, desecrate okay, it. Okay, you turn right? around and I'll open it. So as Eldane touches the coffin, oh, thank goodness. the lid all of a sudden springs open. Spring forth, Broly Protector. An oversized wooden model of the head of the Dwarven Jester jumps out, bring, painted in bright colors. This is the Jester's Attached jester to a coiled spring. The Jack of the great box. big point. <laughs> Boing. Boing sound. Mikey? Mikey? Okay, I'm going to change my shorts. Say, say, say versus shit in your pants. <laughs> That's fantastic. You good? It's, too it's late. a good thing I was only wearing a loincloth under, this, under these pants. <laughs> we'll find you some new rags. Exactly. All right, so um, I'm going to check inside the topics now that I'm not... not What's in the box? Don't, the only thing that often is a pile of ashes. That probably Just used to be a chest. Mm -hmm. The pile of ashes. So a small cool. pile. Because it was a dwarf. Okay, how big is the I'm going to check for any secret compartments. How, and also, how big is the spring when you contract it? Is it something that can fit in a container, in a box? Can you tie a rope around it and keep it coiled? Yeah, it's big enough to Dude, hold the, a model of a head of a, of a dwarf in Jasper. And how much? How big is it Like when it, when it extends? Uh, Ten feet, five feet? Oh no, about about three feet. Is it like a slinky? It's like a jack in the box. Hmm. Because part of it wants to put a little oil in each of the four brass receptacles, light on fire, and have like a little <laughs> fifth element and, um, moment. I never heard that. Elding finds that there is a hollow uh, compartment underneath. The coffin, but it's empty. Okay. Is there another one underneath the secret? Is there a secret, <laughs> secret one? Sorry. It's a good, good call. Because that would be pretty clever. Elaine, right. what did you find there? All right, so I see we're uh, we, we've pretty much checked everything in this room yet, or no? So all of a sudden, that's the thought police decides to hop into one of the brass arms. Whoa, Mephistopheles, what are you doing? And you hear a meow. And next thing you know, he comes out underneath the coffin in the hollow there. Oh. Does he have a mouse in his mouth, perhaps? No. So I drop a gold coin. I drop I drop a copper coin. <laughs> yeah. Mephistopheles, what do it you do? It doesn't always work. work. <laughs> As you drop the copper coin into the brass jar, it disappears. Does it come out where the cat came out? And it's now in the hollow, underneath the hollow. So Does it happen from all the jars or just the one? We try them all. Uh, it happens with all the jars. Okay, I take Ephraim and I see if I can shove him down this the jar. Is this the taste <laughs> Yeah. Do we carry these? What's the point here? of this? I love this. This is, I, if we can move these. I was going to say, we, we should take them into the next room and try them again. This, we could do all sorts of intriguing things. I love this. How big are these things? Can we carry them around? Magic show. <laughs> yes. We are it's gods. a world of magic. <laughs> if, if adventuring doesn't work out for us, we can always open up a traveling magic show. But you know, like right now, we are carrying reason? we're carrying fireworks with us. Like you can fire we'll the, fireworks the fireworks in one urn, and then put the other urn someplace else. And now you it's not urn to urn; it's urn to coffin. And the coffin's probably bigger than we want to carry it. Uh, it's urn to coffin. Yeah, I think we move on and make a note of this. Yeah. Can I'm we carry an urn though? The... How big are they, Joel? I'm with my mage cleric, dude. It's a large brass jar. Um, a large like, brass implies heavy. Like a foot? It's a jar, not an arm. It's probably a 12 or 18 inches tall. How heavy? 
Uh, All right. Uh, well, they're, well, well, they're doing that. I, I, I leave the room, Joel. Um, two stalls. Um, 10, 15 pounds. Oh yeah. If we if we have a room that fills up with water and we we have no escape, we can put the water in there and then bleed it out. If it fills up with sand, there's all sorts of applications here. I love you, Bob. <laughs> okay, you can you can hold your breath too. Okay, all right, get, I leave. Let's go. Get the cart. We can flood. It's, it's we can, 10 or 15 pounds. It's nothing. I'll take it. We don't have to kill anything. 10 or 15 we can pounds. flood. He never carried it around. No, <laughs> no, he never has. <laughs> we can take one of these, bring it to the bottom of the ocean, flood the entire pyramid. Would it stop there, though? It would then fill into the desert, and we could bring new life to the water to the desert. We'll put, a, put it in a lake. We were like, Plus, God. I was going to say, we'll do it at the bottom of the ocean so it'll be all salt water. Maybe yeah. not. Yeah, maybe not ocean, maybe lake. lake. Okay, so I just, I just had to make a note here. Bob said he would Believe. happily carry the 10 or 15 pound brass jar. Wow. And, and that'll be no problem. Believe. Those of us who have carried a child for more than 10 minutes know that 10 or 15 pounds will weigh a ton. Well, when, well, when he starts suffering <laughs> constitution and dexterity of uh, penalties, then you see the change. All right, so Mikey, can you open the door out of here? I rig a rope and I tie it like a little papusa <laughs> pack behind me. Well, they're just going to drag it. I just gotta give you a little hard time. Okay. Well, tell you Why would you not take this? Of, this is amazing. Why would you take it? I don't see the value of it. It's you, a miracle. How big is the opening on top of the brass jar? A cat can go through it. Just big enough for the cat to get through. So it's a four inches across. That's fine. Yeah, that would take a long time to drain out the, the water. The water filling your room is probably coming in faster than I think could drain it. There's applications here. I'm not saying there isn't. This is not worth it. Okay. I don't understand why you're not excited. Let's open about the door this. and then test it again and then keep going. Why are you All wasting right, so time telling me I can't take this? I don't, no, I don't care. <laughs> Drag it behind you, Troll. I'm not the one slowing us down. into a hallway that extends to the west, a long, long hallway. Long, long. It starts there. The rest of you are drowning, and I have a free supply of air. <laughs> I just turned it 170 feet. Whoa. There's applications here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take like a straw. Definitely no, three, sorry, 160. 160. <laughs> How would, like, pressure work? Like, if, it, if, if you bring it into the bottom of the swimming pool, does the water go in or will it stay out? <laughs> it would stay out because you have to out. turn it down, Joel. But then you can't um, breathe it in. At the end of the hallway, well, it, would it, on, on it would depend on if North? the level the of the pool was higher or lower than the level of the room. <laughs> the, oh, the, water, the water pushes on you, so you can't expand your lungs to breathe. But I've taken like a, a milk carton, like a one gallon milk carton to the bottom of a 15 foot swimming pool with friends of us. I can, I can breathe in that. I can, I can come up with something even, even more elaborate. And it Let's say you take a bunch of water. This was a pressure urn at the bottom of the, the opening where the coffin was. Yeah. You pour a bunch of water in there, it disappears, it gets into the uh, opening, which eventually floats and pours back into the urn. And, and <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, Joel. Oh, you know, and we could put a mill there. You can make like, say, and so it would be a little, uh, perpetual motion, <laughs> unending energy. <laughs> We just solved the energy crisis, guys. That is a you said 160, right, Joel? This is probably what they have going on. No, you redid the 60. Oh, that's good. Bob, try your coin now. Try the coin trick now where they're in the hallway with your, with your brush. Okay. Uh, drop a coin now that we're outside of the room of the coffin. That's how it turns out. There's just a coin in the urn. Oh, great. Thanks for playing with my emotions. Fine. Throw the urn back into the room. Wait, what if somebody out with there's... <laughs> oh, you, now you're just gonna rip a hole in time. Yeah, that's like putting a a bag of holding in a portable hole. That's it. Really? Did you? You didn't have to turn that off. You could have just let us have that cool thing. No. No. All right. All right so it turns off like that, Joel. Yeah. There are two open, two other openings in the hallway. Does it? You kill him here. In the module, <laughs> does it say expect to spend 20 minutes discussing? <laughs> are they openings or are they doors? <laughs> You know what though? The with the smirk on Joel's face, I just say uh, the hallway turns north. I think he just came up with that on his own. And at the 140 you have foot to say that was mark, nope. that was cool. Yeah. Down. That's so interesting. Right. I'm okay with those. I do. Maybe that's <laughs> what you guys see. Guys. <laughs> so what you're saying not okay with us? What? <laughs> Is it a door or just an opening? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a hallway. <laughs> 
We peek down it. We let Mikey peek down it. So, so you're running down there. And we're not running. For anything here. No, we're carefully getting up to the first hallway and, letting, and looking down it. Careful, Poles. I'm doing my uh, best dwarven. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry. And the elves are searching for hidden doors. Oh, print screen. All print screen. So there's a search for uh, secret doors going on as okay. we're. So nobody finds any secret doors or traps. Okay. Now we're at the hallway. Shit in front of the door. I think we're at the first opening. Ooh. No, there is no door. Okay, so we're at the first opening. The first opening is a hallway that extends in the vision of good. 30 feet yeah. to the north. Well, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Yeah, control A. No, I have to hit the function key too. Thanks, Josh. Oh, actually, why am I doing this the hard way? Duh, shithead. Whoa, easy. Whoa, language. Language. No, but it's... Now we got a really PG video. <laughs> Control C. I can change, I can solve that for everybody. You guys know one of the places I'm putting this off. Fuck. Off. There, now it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> right down the time. This is also in uh, archive.org, so... It will be around for your kids and your grandkids at some point. In case my kids and my grandkids never hear me say the word fuck. <laughs> Adam's going to hear that every day. Yeah. Too late! <laughs> but not great grandkids because by then we're not going to have a reader. Today. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So my, we look north there, Joel, at the 60 foot interval. We're looking north at this one. Yes. And so it extends another 30 feet to a T intersection and the door is <sighs> at the far wall in front of you. I'm so glad Josh is really good now for now. Yes. Especially because that You said T intersection? Right. So, okay, so I'm actually one too far, aren't I? No. That's, uh, you know, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, you're not too far. I love it. It's only 930. Yeah. That right, Joel? Yes. Yeah, I know. It seems like that extra hour. Okay, there's, there's a door, door right there. Delays. Yes. I was there's a door there, but it's also a T intersection, you said, right? Right. And our podcast flagged is... Material. Yeah, nice yeah. Josh has skills. Seriously. It's not, it's not easy to hold your hands steady. No, it's just right. make a nice straight line. Correct. Okay. This better be the top of the. Is that the top of the pyramid, pretty much, Joel? Because I'm out of map up here. Uh, almost. I'm out of map. I can't go any higher. Yeah, you need you can copy it and then paste yeah. it farther down, right? I don't know if that'll work. I mean, I can, I can change it a little bit. But I guess it doesn't have to be. No, not necessary. necessary. Josh got it. He's all over. We have the technology. Josh is the man. Nice. <laughs> I gave blood today. 37 times. Is that why you're so loopy? Did you? I have given, I have given blood 37 times. Wow. That's, Josh, that's impressive. I'm, appro I'm approaching the five gallon mark now. Awesome. So, all right, uh, we, okay, so we look both ways down the hallway because you always look both ways before you cross the street. That's right. We cross the street. Yeah. That hallway to the west extends another 30 feet and turns to the north. What the hell? Oops. That. And that. 30 feet, so. so 10, 20, 30, and then. Sense to the north after another additional 20 feet. And 20, and it opens up. Are you supposed to be doing that? Right there, Joel, like that? Yeah. And oh, the hallway from 20 minutes ago. Further down to the east. <laughs> the hallways. How far? And up after the, the turn to the north, it goes another one. Another 70 feet before it turns to the south. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops. A little crooked there. 
and there is a door um, 30 feet in, right there. Oops. I don't quite figure that part out. Right on there. Right there. Yep. Right hand rule? Door in front of us rule? Yeah. I like the left way because it's, it's there's only one way to go there. Mm. Yeah, just go left. Or, or no, the door. We'll, we'll do it all eventually. Let's look, let's look in the door. Door it is, Mikey. Alright. Door it is. Check it's locked. Door. Next. Good traps. Is it trapped? I'm sure it's down the way out. I know. One of my favorites, too. One of my favorites. Did you get that for free? Yeah, so no, the no, door opens. Alright. Okay. And it opens up into a 40 by 40 room. Is the door on the left side, the right side, or where? That should be about 40 right there. I mean, yes. The hallway is supposed to be one more row to the, or one more column to the left. One more column to the left, huh? Is that going to matter, Joel? No, right? It's not, so don't worry about it. So this opens up to a 40 by 40 room. If that just happens to be a really thick wall. One, two, three, four. A, okay, here's a description. A mummified human in plate armor and holding a halberd stands at attention against the west wall of the against the west side of the south wall. Grouped around the mummy are nine skeletons holding swords, also at attention. Careful, friends. Careful, I'm prepared to turn on them. There could be powerful magics here. Great needle magics. What's Kevin Hart's chance of turning a mummy at this level? I'm worried about them. The mummies, the mummies are disease. Disease bad. Oh, what can we do with all these swords? Hmm? What can we do with all these swords? Not get them thrown at you. Press them to our clutch. Uh, are they moving, Joel? Plate mail armor. Do you have that yet? They're dead. I mean, there is... Is there anything else in the room that we can see? I think so. Okay. Nope. That's all I'm going to see. This is fine. It's all fine. He he How many of them are there again? There is a mummified body and there are uh, nine skeletons around here. Uh, for now, when I hit next What does the body appear to look like? I mean, does it appear to be any of the uh, it appears any of it's races a human, so far? A human with plate mail armor and holding a halberd, so it's probably a guard. Maybe a captain of the guard. Anybody need plate mail? People already got the plate mail, because I don't care about it. What do the uh, what do the skeletons have? Yeah, skeleton. He does. You can well, All they have are swords. Is there a lock on this door? No. You said it was unlocked. What is, unlocked. is there a lock? I want to see what. So I'll I'll simply say what we're all thinking. The moment that we walk into the room, these creatures of evil will animate, come to life, and try to take our lives from us. I, I gotta tell you, a mummy is out of our league. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's not even it's not even a, a turn option until hey. right. fourth level. Hey, uh, cleric. As long as the other cleric still has his uh, hammer and uh, walls, uh, what you call it? He can he just jam one in the door and he'll never get out. <laughs> true. Suppose hey, hey, true. hey, darter. Why don't you go pound your head in the wall for a few minutes? <laughs> oh wait, that might smarten you up. <laughs> You have 14 intelligence. Uh, these are creatures. <laughs> if they do animate, though, they are creatures of evil, and I can't abide by that. Although I'm not lawful. There's no obvious treasure here. There's no obvious treasure here. We well, except for the swords and the plate mail. I think we should leave. Can we pin cushion them from from beyond? Well, then they come to the door and they kill us. Yeah. And a mummy. I don't. I don't think the anime. I think we're wasting. I think it's just okay. Decoration. Let's move on. You want to go in and look at the plate mail on the sword? That's fine. I got no issues with that. Do any of the swords appear to be magical? I don't. I don't want to take on nine. Is there any inscriptions? Mm -hmm. You have to have a good vision there. 
I stick my head in and look around. Spyglass. You're not close enough to see any inscriptions. Okay, I think it's probably it, is, it's it's it is against Don't the south wall. Uh, Mephistopheles says good vision and night vision. Is Mephistopheles able to see any any writing in the far wall? No, the, 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 a good look at it is blocked by the skeletons okay. standing in front of it. How are this? I, 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 don't, I don't even want to check this out. I just want to move on. Skeletons shooting this out? I've got a bad feeling about it. Got a bad feeling about there this. Okay. Yeah. Bob, are skeletons always human size? Corpses? It depends on what the DM says, but I think unless humanoid, they're, giant, they're always humanoid, right? I've run across giant size skeletons before. Yeah. Still a humanoid. <laughs> Plus, I, I would point out that uh, the magics that we are armed with in our arsenal right now are geared more towards a living enemy. The ability to put creatures to sleep. To hold them in their tracks. But you, you can turn that, on that. Is that a yay or nay? Or Kept going in the room. We're not going in the room. No. I push not. Darter in the room and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, let's leave the door open. We move on. Leave the door open? Close no, the door. Close the door. Okay. With Darter on the same side as us. I do not have to. Okay, I do one of these. <laughs> <laughs> you, hey, push pull back in. you push me, but you pull me back. You're playing with me. All right, let's go to the left and around that corner there. And that hallway goes up an additional 30 feet and turns to the west. We could lay down like a trail of oil and walk in the room and get like that. Like that much, the Joel? <laughs> one, two, three? Or do we went too far? No, that's right. Probably, I don't know. Mommy, probably. I probably imagine we don't like playing. There, there are a few. Don't All right. Plus two. Plus two. You have a plus two. So we head up there and around the corner. Ooh, if you are lucky, these will hook up for all the. The hallway extends an additional <laughs> 80 feet and ends at a door on the west. That's a lot of searching. So this, okay. So 80 feet, does that include this corner, Joel? No, an additional 80 feet. So this one, one, <sighs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the door. And as Josh is drawing that, I just want to mention that uh, our experience on the previous level with the revolving hallway, I'm imagining like a group, the Where was same the door group of adventurers. Uh, they somehow on the, on the wall? into modern right day America in a high rise building, like a skyscraper, <laughs> and they see the elevator and they're frustrated by it, so they put like a metal pin in the elevator to keep it from closing. And then some, some security guy takes it out and they push the button and they're waiting 10 minutes and they're like, let's just smash the door. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Mikey? That's us. That's yeah. You want to check it out? Yep, heading down the hallway. Many distance traps, secret waiting passages, apartments. That's too funny. Anything like that? Game Joel's game. randomly rolling dice. So I, I think he's just having fun. Okay, get yeah, to the door. Check, so you check every inch of the way. There's no secret doors, no traps, no unusual slopes. Okay. And, uh, so get to, get to the door. The door. Uh, There's no traps on the door. Is it locked? The door's unlocked. Hmm. Um, okay, look, listen in the field. Do I hear anything behind the door? No. Door made out of wood, metal? Yeah, um, all these... Uh, all these uh, doors are made of stone. Made of stone. Good, so the dwarf knows about them. Okay, good. Um, okay, so we open the door. The door's pretty heavy. Hey, this, this opens up into a 40 by 40 foot room. Let's see if it does work with that. Another 10 feet up, another 20 feet down. <laughs> this room has seen some warfare painted on the walls. It also has a large wooden sarcophagus standing upright along the south wall. Painted on the outside of the sarcophagus is a picture of a warrior in armor. Swatting on each side of the sarcophagus is a large ape with white fur. A large what? Ape. ape. Does the ape look alive or does it look stuffed? As you open the door, the apes look up and they start to um, beat their chests. Mm. Where is the sarcophagus, Joel? South. South wall. I think that answers your question on the apes. How do they eat? Stop. Seriously, what are they doing? They're sitting in a room not They're eating? magic. There's millions of people. There's like hundreds of people in this building. Somebody could be feeding. I mean, we're gonna kill the. We're gonna fight the two giant apes. I, uh, 
Is there anything in the room that looks like treasure other than the sarcophagus? We've been playing, guys. It's AD and D. We've been playing for an hour and a half. We need to kill, kill something. something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do you, does your ranger experience give you any sense of what these creatures are? Um, I compare these to my knowledge of natural apes and find. That's good. That. That Joel's looking at his bag right now. Maybe for the monster. Uh, <laughs> so. This is the funniest thing. So Adam's saying he's reading uh, something about it was called Cthulhu or something. You're talking about something, and I was like, well, you could just rephrase it like this, this, and the other thing. And then I put in like brackets. I put I'm ty- I, as I'm typing in brackets. Adam is copying this down. Adam responded to me saying, I need to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. <laughs> I could tell you exactly what I'm going to tell you when I do my Cthulhu thing. <laughs> there are things you can't defeat. Gotcha. So you have to run away. Oh, yeah. All right, somebody in your party is going to roll for initiative. The dapes have, have had enough. They're going to... Oh, we're attacking. attacking. Okay. I got it. All right. Ashley rolls a five. Nice roll. All right, so the, the party has the initiative. All right. Uh, what is it, 30 feet? Are we we're, we're in the room. Okay. So. So 30 feet or less. So we can throw our melee stuff, or our ranged attacks first. I agree. So All right, so Ashley will shoot out two arrows. Two arrows, right? Is what I get? Yeah, two shots. 1d6 damage, but you get pluses possibly. No. She's not that hot. No dex? No dex. Does she have a longbow? She has a longbow, sure. Longbow gets an inherent plus one to hit. Okay. Joel, I have a 17 and an 8. My bet is that 17 is going to hit. Is that with your plus one? 18. Hits the eight misses. Nine, nine with my plus one for Bob. Does a nine, does a nine hit? No. Okay. That D6 damage gives me two. Okay. Ducat will hold. Do you want to name the eight? Ape, um, uh, uh, Magilla. Magilla. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary. Wow. <laughs> wow. There's any other answer. Yeah. Oh, actually, the other one is... Dr. Zayas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who's a bad moon, but... <coughs> and Dr. Zayas. Or you I'm could go Caesar that. these days, too. Caesar. Yeah. Caesar? I haven't seen that one yet, the second one. The new Planet of the Apes. Oh, I haven't oh, seen sorry. that. Oh, right. I'll lose two arrows. <coughs> uh, the first one should be a hit. 22. You got all your pluses on there? Yeah, with all the pluses. All right. I didn't roll a 22. A You're targeting Magilla. Uh, is that who you shot at? Yes, I, yes. Hit, I hit Magilla. Yeah, I'm targeting Magilla yeah, for hits. six damage. Ooh. I don't get any bonus to damage, do I? No. If you roll okay. a natural 20, it's just an automatic hit. Even if you couldn't hit it. And I miss. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take my throwing axe. Oh. <laughs> and throw it. <laughs> Sorry. And, and what are you going to do with your throwing axe? I'm going to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the plus two axe? Yeah. But it doesn't come back. Remember, this is first edition AD&D. Throwing axe is plus one. I have a plus two flail. Oh, you are so all over it. Okay. Gotcha. So I'm going to take my throwing axe and did... Who do we hit? Magilla? Magilla. I'm going to throw it at Magilla. Okay. Right in his chest. Is there anyone who said gorilla? He said ape. <laughs> <laughs> Bob? He, he, he's uh, pretty quick. I guess uh, the magic user has three darts. That's you so quick. Yeah, Drew the axe back and it was already gone. Borrow. Give my guess. Uh, first dart, seven miss. Next dart, one miss. Third dart, seven miss. You might want to try the blue twenty seven next time. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then the the next one is the cleric Kevlorn, and I don't think he's got sling. any. If you oh, add he's got those sling. all together, <laughs> 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 you still missed. <laughs> and then I think you have the cleric Kevlorn. And he's got a sling, and he gets one shot with the sling, and he has no dex bonuses, but he does roll an 18, so I guess the sling hits. And that's 1d4, right? I think a sling is 1d4. Which one did you hit? Uh, Megillah. For four points of damage. Okay. Dang, you good with that. I was lucky, yeah. Ducat is not going yet. Mikey, you want to go next? Mike's still there. Mike? Yep, so K- Kalar and Eldane can go because they both have those. You know, we can't see Mikey tonight because of the, the map. 
Yeah. Starling could have walked in naked and left. Oh, you guys didn't see that? <laughs> oh, man. Are you saying uh, Mike wouldn't have seen that? Mike, oh, Mike could have walked in naked and left. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. You guys didn't see that either? No, oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Kalar first. Kalar's going first. Cause... Ooh, do you have a sling Kalar bullet or a sling stone? 17. She rolls a 17. Mm-hmm. That hits. I got to go with the 1d4 version. 1d4 yep. or 2d5. She five. does 5 points of damage. Oh, let's see. Okay. And well, I'll go restock up and get bullets next time. She rolls a 14. I was thinking so. And, um, that hits. That hits. Is McGill down yet? she <clears throat> rolls four points of damage. Okay. Okay. Oh, so now Bane's up. How bad do they look, Joel? Uh, he's, he's in um, very bad shape. Eldane's gonna take, uh, I guess we're still shooting yeah, McGill out, right? Yeah, McGill's still up, Mike. I'm not gonna tell you until the end of the round if they're alive or dead. I will tell okay, you so before the spell shooters go. Okay, well, I'm holding, I'm, I'm, I'll be the last the after that. The arrows and the axes are simultaneous. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, Eldane's first arrow, uh, he rolls a 18, natural 18. At which one? Uh, at uh, McGill. <laughs> I love naming everything. <laughs> that is pretty good. And he does five points of damage. There you go, Bob. There's our third D twenty for darts. And the Thank second you, arrow. That's great. This is the he baby. Misses. This is my first okay. set of dice. I think I remember that die. Yeah, he didn't farewell. You guys didn't farewell against him, and uh. In the melee of everybody firing, he tries to step to the side so that his second arrow doesn't accidentally hit one of his party members, <clears> and <throat> inadvertently he loses his footing a little bit, believe it or not, with a 17 dex, and his arrow goes flying by Megillah. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right, I got three darts or a magic missile. They both seem to be still up. Now that you're the spell slinger, you should be able to tell. Doesn't magic missile automatically hit, right? It does, but the three darts are almost are, are a craft shoot, but they're just as effective because the magic missile is only doing like... 1d4 or something. I would say save the spell. Yeah, I'm going to save the spell. It's, so not, I'm gonna, it's not like you're going to kill him on this. I'm going to toss three darts. At McGilla or Dr. At McGilla. Seven, eight, ten. No, no, no. He's a giant white eight. I mean, that's pretty good. I would say it hit and it just got caught up in his tough fur and didn't Maybe penetrate. Maybe would have been wise. We'll see how bad they are. I'm not putting them to sleep in my and our magic user, magic user wannabe all think, jeez, I gotta spend more time at the pub. <laughs> Need a new pencil? Joel's lo- losing lead all over the floor. Uh-oh. Mikey, did you look at that link I sent you about the, the Canadian gun? Oh my god, yes. I sent it to you too. I, I am the uh, Canada's military new weapon. Oh, I didn't get a chance to look at it. It's like an unmanned machine gun. Really? Yeah, well, that's right. We've got we've got something here called Metal Storm. I think I played that game. I think we have all gone, so you are now up, Mr. Adam, Monster. You should, search, you should search Metal Storm weapons. Yeah. Well, McGilla falls yeah. with a bunch of arrows sticking out of them. It's like a pin cushion. Or like and Dr. Zayas is really mad. <laughs> He's dancing all around, Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. He, uh, Take your paws off. He picks up two rocks eight. and throws them both at Alaric. Oh, I'm glad he threw them at Alaric. How in the world? Alaric with the AC of 10. What yeah, you know? worst AC. How would I get in the front lines here? <laughs> like, no, stand back. I've it's got this. He's lobbing it. I've got this, guys. He's lobbing. It's okay. You are range. You have lots of hit points. You're tall. That's true. And you can control the party clear. <laughs> Somehow the first rock goes awry and... and by your head. Oh, the giant oh, I thought it was Friday. melee. I'm sorry, okay. Andre the Giant Princess Friday explodes right here. The second rock hits you square in the forehead. I love yeah. this. Doink. <laughs> I believe you. For four points of damage. And he's our. Oh, I didn't realize. Elric is down three already at 25. Four more points takes him to 21. Oh, no. <laughs> right, roll, roll As he threw the giant rock. rock. Who wants to roll for an it? Uh, Mikey, you want to roll? Alright, you got D6, right? Yes, sir. Five. So, nice roll. so Dr. Zayas has the initiative. What? Wow. That, that damn 38. That damn 38. 
Yeah, yeah. It falls off me, you dirty eight rock. So he picks up one it. rock and flings to the Kalar. Kalar? That's Kalar. That's the ranger that is controlled by Mike. Mikey, that's your that's girlfriend. My, that's, my, that's my hot chick elf ranger. The one you're not hitting up. Yeah, the one who's not as good looking as, whose name I couldn't remember. Actually, she was stunning. Right? Comes down to. She's a belf. <laughs> Elf. And she takes one point of damage from the rock that oh, that was her on the, on, on the uh, shin. Mm-hmm. But it scratched her face as so she lost one. And Kev Horn will take the other attack. Kev Lorne. And the rock flies over his head. He ducks. Are, are you guys going to run in and deck him with swords, or are you going to sit out here and throw our arrows, shoot arrows at him? I'm going to shoot two arrows. I don't know. I'm going to go yeah. in there with my head. Awesome. Guys give up? <laughs> you mean you wish to sur- you mean you wish to surrender to me? Very well, I accept. That's, that's the guy in the email Jeff sent earlier today. The badass guy that went to the German town, shut everybody up, and a hundred Germans surrendered to the one guy. I missed that email. <laughs> I think you said to Joel and I. The guy that got mauled by the grizzly bear was really impressive. And I heard the Rasputin story before. Yeah, yeah I heard that. So oh, unfair! Oh story my story God! Look at you. Yeah. All the things that they did. Wow. What'd you roll, Adam? Yeah. 24. To hit? He rolled a natural yeah. 20. Yeah, and a natural 6 on my d6. Wow. Wow. And you know what that means? Six I hit damage. for 6 damage. <laughs> Still, but you get 2 rolls, right? And, and now my next my next arrow at the Dr. Zayas. For his next trick. Uh, that is a 13, 15, 15, 16, 17. Um, I'm assuming it was a hit, but... Who is this? Is it Efron? Efron, yeah. Shooting an arrow, bow. Yeah, that's a hit. And another six damage. Wow. Wow. D6 went very, very good to me. You're a powerhouse. I think that's... Two, two arrows sticking out of each. Each bedded very deeply. Uh, who's the next arrow? He looks like a Madonna video. Mikey, throw some arrows out there. <laughs> or whatever you want to do. Oh, Ashley can shoot two. Here, <coughs> I was going to say, Kalar can get her two. 17 to 12, Joel. Level two fighter. Ashley. No. 17 hits the 12 misses. 6 damage. Nice. Good job, Ashley. I've been teaching you well. And nice. Dr. Zayas falls. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but uh, is still up, right? No, Megillah went down first. Megillah went down at the end of the, in the last turn. Oh, okay, I didn't hear that part. Sorry. Fight's over. Show's over. Nothing to see here. I retrieve my arrows. Yep, we retrieve the arrows. Um, I search the monkeys. I mean, apes. Just look at your... They have pockets. Yeah. They have pockets, Mikey. The men in eight. The men in eight. I I played a game once where every time you killed an eagle, you got four black pearl. Don't know where the black pearl was. <laughs> There's no treasure on the apes. Oh. All right, but you nothing know, else in the room except for the sarcoph- sarcophagus. Where it was? A large wooden sarcophagus. What about white gorilla hide? You think there's a market for that? I feel like what there could be a good spell component here, so it might not be a bad idea to take. A, like a, a snippet of hair, perhaps? Yeah, see a little pinch of hair. Yeah. It's lean, maybe. The hair of an albino ape. All right, who's going to open the uh, casket, the, the sarcophagus? You should knock out it. Are there any unusual markings? Not just back from the inside. <laughs> Joel, is it a kind of label or marking? It sounds uh, like a puppet. Uh, well consider unusual. Are there any uh, as I described in the description, which I'm sure you were listening to, but Allow okay, myself to describe. Got, painted on the outside of the sarcophagus is the picture of a warrior in armor. <clears throat> Plate. The kind of warrior wood, pairs. Wood, wood painted, Pro- painted protective. Armor. Protective. Painted on wood armor. <laughs> just really dick now. Painted on sarcophagus armor. I still don't think we need to be desecrating tools. I've still never seen anybody with wood armor. Alright. I guess it's way too low. Mm-hmm. Alright. It's a, it's a suit of armor. Well, you've not played Dwarf Fortress yet, because then you would know that the elves only wear. Armor of wood. You're just trying to. Are we opening this or not? This game, yeah, so. <laughs> Guys, are we opening this or not? No. I mean, does it look like it's been opened before? Are there scratch marks on the on the sides or something Wait, where the certain wood might have come off? You have a, I have a question. Does this look like the guy in plate mail that was in the other room? No. Okay. Does, it, does, does he look, look like he's more important than the guy in plate mail in this room? I don't know if this has been opened. Is it, has it, well, has so it, I'm looking for scratch tell. marks where the lid may have been slid off. No. All right. No, it's, it's standing up, right? I thought it was standing up. 
Yeah. I thought it was too. Uh, that's correct. See, Mike is listening. That makes one of us. Ooh, that oh, hurts. All right, let's try. Yeah, I, I, I had that one cocked a little bit. Just look for, look for traps. Well. You don't see any traps. I'll not have anything to do with we're, opening the sarcophagus. We're not going to open the sarcophagus. Not that it, I, I don't mind breaking the law, but I feel like this is not a good thing. This is not something a good person would do. Exploring the pyramid, designing the sarcophagus. Yeah, I don't like that. All right, let's let's kill all the guys. This is D and D. Open the freaking box. Kill, get treasure. That's D and D. So as Bob and I are walking out of the room, you guys open the sarcophagus. Is what you're telling us. You guys, why don't you go guard the door? Look for look for. Uh, <laughs> why don't you guys look around the, for the walls for secret doors? I'll look around the walls for secret doors. Mikey. Very, very intense. Mikey Darter, open it up. Ashley and Ducat right. will observe. Mike's sword is actually pulling him over to the sarcophagus. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. It's in the uh, anybody mind if Elric gets a healing from uh, Kevhorn? He's uh, down Absolutely. seven points. He should not need to ask us. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's open it a <clears throat> small amount, and I'm ready to close it back up if we need right? to. Yeah. The sarcophagus gets exactly yeah. well, the starter starts opening, he slips, and the lid swings wide open. You, let's see. Oh, Inside the sarcophagus is a mummified body wearing full plate mail armor and holding a sword. Did you any magic what was that noise? Out? Did you hear something? <clears throat> Do we feel any magic coming out of there, Joel? Any magic, magic vibes coming off? Well, who's the one that would... Dukat's there. Dukat, Dukat feels that there's some magic in the sword. <clears throat> I feel that there may be some magic in the sword. There's been some magic, magic in, in that old steel sword they found. Long sword, broad sword, but bastard sword. But Mike Sword, who is an expert on magic, magic swords, swords. <laughs> <laughs> yes. La- laughs at it and says, hey, I'm better than that sword. Yeah, even a sword plus one is better than... That's what any sword would say. Um, sword envy. I'm going to stick with Mike ah. Sword. He's got intelligence, too. He, he might bow down to a Vastly superior sword than him. Hmm. Yeah, my, it's got an intelligence of 14. All right, if nobody wants it, Ashley's, uh, Ashley offers to take it. Is that sword half as good as you are? Sword of Might? Can you ask the Might Sword? Yes. Sword sword of might. Oh, it's, it's not as good as, it's not as, good as me. Half as good. I said half as good as you are. See, yeah. half of two is one, plus yeah. one sword. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you, you can't measure the how, to what extent and... Ashley takes, sword. Ashley takes the sword. All right, done. Let me find somebody who's a little more experienced and get a better idea. Or you can orders. learn, identify, and waste one of your spells. Look around anything else in the sarcophagus. <laughs> it's not per- <laughs> identify it's pretty far. Well, no, it's level one. No, it's not, is right it? Now, sure it is. <clears throat> Cost one pearl. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Put me down. Gauntlets at all? You're right. All right, any, um, any else minutes? in the sarcophagus? No, that's Joel? it. I'll just keep swinging it. Nothing else in the room except a pile of rocks. Uh, that's we should... Film. Are they and one big pile? Should we look through the, Should we move the pile of rocks and see if there's anything buried underneath? Yes. Yeah. The rocks aren't such a big pile that you can't see everything that's underneath it, which is nothing. Okay. okay. So let's, the rocks. let's jam the gorillas. Are they uh, sling-sized? Can I add to, to my sling ammunition if I find a few in there that are the right size? <clears throat> no, they're bigger. Okay. Yeah. Does anybody else want how to... About, how about any... any if we could, is the sarcophagus able to be moved? Can we try to move it? Yeah. We, yeah, okay, you move it. <laughs> behind it. Nothing under it. Jam the gorillas in. Nothing over it. Sarcophagus Nothing attached to it. it so, less... Like the, it's not, it's not, it itself is not... So, we put, we put the two white gorillas in there and close it up. I like it. <laughs> I like it, too. <laughs> I'd like it better if I had desecrated a tomb for it. All right, so Ashley has sword... Actually, has a magic we sword. Not bury these poor creatures that were just trying to defend themselves that we had to kill. Mm. <laughs> we find Moving a nice on. resting spot for them. All right, we head on back. Well, nobody. Wouldn't, wouldn't meat <laughs> provide very good meat? 
Well, you gave you. We already negotiated ten days worth of food from uh, the Magi. Yeah, we cleaned out the. Uh, and besides, Ape is too. We cleaned like, out that storeroom. Oh, it's kind of gamey. It's, it's very, ape is very yeah. tough. Besides, if I if very I propose tough. that we take meat from the apes, you would tell me that we we don't have enough for a meal. We banged the apes because we've we've killed a six foot long beetle yeah. and we couldn't find any meat on that. that so dude, that's all exoskeleton. Clearly, there's no shell. Yeah, but there's an endoskeleton on the ape, and so there's all no right, meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we head back to where we came. We gonna take that uh, that one there, like this what? one here, just the, the, north? the one just past the past the room we're already in. Okay, that extends an additional forty feet in terms of the east. When I say additional, I mean additional from the intersection. So one, two, three, forty feet. I totally realized that there's treasure in those uh, sarcophagus of the oh, other two, not the jester one, but there were two more, like a king and a queen. Probably magic items in too. Yep. No, we haven't seen those yet. We haven't gotten to the king of queen. No, the, the pictures. Oh, I thought there was a sarcophagus no. in there as well for the king and the queen. No. Okay. okay so you look around the corner. Extends an additional like 100 feet and turns to the south. 100 feet. One, two, three, four, six, it's seven, eight, 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 four. I know. Looting sarcophagi, taking loot, <laughs> killing things for no reason. You know, with, with the, the good of, of being older. It turns to the south shoulder. That's bad side too. Because we're kids, we take that shit all day and claim off of good. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. Yeah, it turns to the south. Dart, Darter points out that's, yeah, I'm sure that's the northeast corner of the, the tier. This is it, guys. It's probably the corner, the northmost, farthest northeast. Thank you, Captain Obvious Dwarf. <clears throat> All right, so we head on down to secret doors, so on and so forth. Yep, head on down, checking it out. Moving on right along. Living the, living the life of the searching for secret passages. Living the Vita Loka. Secret compartments. So, so what do you think? The, the white... So around the corner, that extends another 80 feet and uh, ends at the door. For the record, the room we were in where we killed the apes, yep. is that probably the other corner of the, of the level? Correct. Or Good job not telling us that. Probably. <laughs> An additional 80, Joel? Too busy. Uh, One, two, three, three four, five, five, six, seven. What do you think? The, the apes were like shuffling down this hall at nighttime, going into their rooms, going to sleep, and then in the morning. You said it ends at a door, Joel? Back yes. And then stand guard duty, waiting for like the one adventurer to come in out of the desert. Seems reasonable. Yeah, yeah. totally reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> or they were magical constructs. Magic? Okay. And they only animated from the moment we walked in the room. Suspended animation until... So from, the, from their perspective, it was, they were set there. Would you rather have that? And then the next one would be walking. Because otherwise, it's a thousand <laughs> No. If, you know, if I had known ahead of time, I would have drawn it as a circle yeah, up here, but I wasn't that good. Generations of wild apes bred and then trained for protection. Like okay, any more? Any, was checking this hallway for secret doors, etc.? cetera? Yeah, so secret doors. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't you find a mechanism mm -hmm. for the turning, turn style? We, in the, either the upper floor or the lower floor, you should have some kind of... That's true. All right. We get up Built there to the door. It's another big stone door. I think you would have to get that. Ah, but magic. Yep. Magic. Yeah, excuse me. Unlock. Speaker. Oh, it's not stereo? It's, it still sounds like stereo, but it comes out of there. Yep. Unlock the one. Okay, let's go do your thing, Mikey. It's a locked door. Right. It's a locked door. We're going to try to open it. How do you lock a stone door? The door the opens key? since it was unlocked. Stone unlocked, key. Mikey. Unlocked. Stone locked. Oh, unlocked. Stone unlocked. Key. Okay, I think it was locked. <laughs> okay, so door opens, unlocked. What do we got? A sarcophagus rests on a dais in the center of the room. How big is the room? Come on, you're hurting me here. You're killing me here. It's a... 30 by 30 foot room. By the way, many thanks to First Edition AD and D. This is how I learned the word dais. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how to pronounce it. Amid, like rock me on a dais? This is the far. Because I always, I, I, at first I thought it was dais. I used to think that, yeah. 1984, Austrian rock singer Falco records rock me on the dais. Why was he on the dais and why do they want to be the on the dais? The dais is ten, a <laughs> ten foot square. From each oh, corner of the dais rises a slender six foot tall column. 
the tops of the column meet the corners of an arched dome above the sarcophagus. On the dais, at each end of the sarcophagus, is a brass jar on which flames dance. Ooh. Finally, the walls of this room are painted with scenes from the life of a noble lady. Ooh, could this be the Queen's Chamber? Seems this like it might be a door master. on the west wall. Bob, this has so much upkeep, this uh, floor that we have so far. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the flames. The, uh, Supply of fuel. The, uh, I don't think that, I don't Guys, think this like, is D&D. It's fucking magic. <laughs> I don't think it's like Kennedy's Eternal Flame where it's just a gas line. <laughs> All right. Wow, this is that was big. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I gotta get my, I gotta get my screenshot here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Different stages. That's good. All right. Uh, so, what do we want? You want to check it out? Yeah. Uh, do we recognize the uh, portrait of the woman as the same portrait of the queen in, in the first room? No. Oh. Different. We noble should not woman. be desperate to <clears> these people. It's not a queen. It is a noble woman. Ah, okay. So, not the queen. What kind of D&D adventure are you? You're out here for adventure and treasure. And I have an alignment. So what? So oh, if I don't play my alignment, I can be stripped of my ranger hood. <laughs> what is your alignment? As, as, um, neutral good. Neutral good. As is Something mine. with good in it. Listen, this stuff is not doing any good for any, but any of these dead people. There's no reason you can't pick it up. There's no reason we should be dry, diving in there to see what we can find. Sure I there is. Somebody, you can, you could somebody. donate some of this when you're done. That's an interesting be, point. Is that more a lawful point than a good point? So yeah. we're going to look for traps. Yeah, traps. The, uh... yeah you know what, Let's Adam? Do... Maybe it's more being lawful not to break open those things. Good is okay if it's long abandoned. Oh, if it's a, just a legal matter? I don't really care. Yeah. So you find no traps. Yeah. You find that the... Uh, the Flaming urns. The brass jars cannot be moved. They're attached to the floor. Mm-hmm. But I was going to say, because if we can carry a 20 pound eternally flaming glass jar, but yes. they were the on that. the floor behind one of the um, brass jars, a small bronze tube with a piece of parchment in it. Oh. A scroll. Who found that? Uh, uh, Kalar. Kalar, good job, Kalar. All right, let's see what it says. Can Kalar read? Yes, she can read. She's an elf. Okay, she's got all the same languages that a normal elf would have. It's a map. Including dwarvish bugbear, dragon. It's a map. It's a map of several hallways with a large black X in one of the squares. Mm-hmm. Do uh, we don't recognize that that map. X marks what you, what you have We there. don't, okay. We don't. So we haven't been there yet. Uh, I take a look at it to see if I can match up the no. okay. <laughs> dwarven magic stones. And Just who, like I said. And and why would anybody do this? By the way, you have built this entire structure to honor the dead. Let's go ahead and put a map with an X where treasure or secret door is. Maybe somebody else dropped it by accident. How bad is their memory that they can't remember that? Maybe they're trying to show someone else. All right. Uh. So there's four columns, canopy, or dome, you you said, right? Dome? Dome. Leading to a dome. Uh, And there's a sarcophagus underneath there? Uh, On the dais at each end of the sarcophagus. Uh, The sarcophagus rests on a dais in the center of the room. A ten foot square. Let's check the canopy first. Yeah, we check the canopy. Top, Mm -hmm. you know. No, you can't boost actually up. It's not really a canopy, it's a arch. What am I watching? But there, there's nothing. You don't, you don't okay. see anything on top of there. Should we open it up and see what happens? Is the sarcophagus wood or stone? Or something else? It's wood. Alright. It's plastic. Let's just light it on fire. Let's open it up. Let's open it up. Well, if we light it on fire, the only thing we're going to lose inside is paper and books. It's and any of the metal stuff will be okay. It'll just be hot. Yeah, but but you and I are the ones who can really enjoy the paper and the book. Yeah, I know. Part I'm just being sarcastic. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I like that idea. Let's light it on fire. <laughs> All right, we open it up. All the magic items would be carefully. As a daughter slips and the it flies open. <laughs> Son of a. 
You're not allowed to touch stuff anymore. Why am I wearing my slippery? This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> there is a mummified body inside the sarcophagus. That it? Rings, necklace, any kind of jewelry or anything? The sarcophagus opened pretty easily. Eldane, being an expert on these kind of things, surmises that it, it's probably already been looted. Oh. Yeah, so it's already been in here. That's what I was about to say. And it wasn't Eldane. And it wasn't, yeah, and it wasn't me. Interesting. They managed to loot this place. They had to probably pass through the albino monkeys. No. Oh, no, that's at the end of the hallway. That's true. Okay. That's, that's at the far end. end. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so so much for this room. Shall we go next? Uh, so this person could have died first. Yeah, mm-hmm. possibly. Nothing particular about the... Maybe it was loosed by the monkeys. Is there... Is the sarcophagus raised off the floor that there might be something underneath the mummy? You try serving the body of the dead and see. I'm asking about appearances and height. I'm not asking... All you see is a 10-foot dais. Uh, not, not 10 feet. Interesting. Yeah, what's underneath? What's in that 10, 10 feet, feet square? <coughs> um, what do you think, Mikey? I don't know. Uh, I mean, think it's about how high, how high how off the high ground is this thing? Yeah, how high off the ground is is the mummy from the floor? Uh, maybe a foot or two. No, nothing too elaborate. And, 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 the, and the platform, is it all made out of stone? Yeah. And, stone. Uh, and the dwarf, does it detect any, you know... Irregularities. And any irregularities? Did you knock on and hear any echoes inside? He says, it, or anything in there? he says it appears very solid. Okay. These would work. And then, on, and then there's this sarcophagus that's sitting on top of that. Correct. Okay, and then could, how big is the sarcophagus? Like, can we move it, slide it? Ooh. Uh, yeah, you can. Because uh, maybe there's a maybe there's a hollow spot underneath the sarcophagus. So, so let's just. So a couple, yeah. of, couple of you guys, the stronger guys, pick up a corner, sarcophagus, move it enough on the dais, and there's nothing underneath it. Okay, so we slide it back into position <clears throat> because we were done with that. Yeah, we're done with that. All right, let's go to that door on the left. We put the top back on. Kev Lauren speaks words of, of prayer to the goddess of magic, uh, blessing the, the corpse and wishing it a, a final peaceful rest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, moving on. <laughs> Alright, so we have the door to the left there, Joel. I'm assuming it intersects that hallway. Um, yeah. That's a long, long hallway. Long. Right. No yeah. more Yankee, my Winky. Hallway goes, yeah, hallway. What? Next hallway to north. Is that even <laughs> I'm not sure what that has to do with long hallway. Long duck down. Yeah. Mm. That was from uh, Joel. Can I color this in? Or do we miss something? Um, yeah, you can color in. He just likes the color. <laughs> Who doesn't? Ooh, that's a good fill function. He, was saying, function, so. he just likes the color. <laughs> um, and it extends another 160 feet to the south. Beyond the room? Holy beyond the door. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you could have worked it. Fifteen, now you gotta count again. Yes, I know. One, two. <laughs> oh, one hundred seventy. Yeah, in in the game, imagine. Seventeen, one hundred seventy, Joel. Yep, 17 squares. There's like 15 the of us door. in the hallway, and we're all gathered around Ducat, who's got a piece of paper, and he's got like a quill, and we're all just sort of sitting there watching him as he's scribing into a map. Is this Angel on a flat, or? It turns to the left. So while he's scribing, just out of curiosity, has anybody ever watched the TV show on the History Channel, Vikings? No, but I saw a lot of commercials for it during um, Sons of Liberty. Yeah, no, it's actually really good. Yeah, recommended. Yeah, I have a couple really episodes, and then I went back out yeah. to uh, Amazon. I think it's only three. Much I think that's all there is. Uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Hey, Darter, is this probably the end of the? Is this probably the end of the hallway? Probably the end of this side. Yeah, he said probably. Yeah, but it's probably not the corner, but it's probably the other side. There were some of the historical fiction parts I had some trouble with. Otherwise, it was. Oh, with the uh, the general's wife. 
Yeah, that was one. They, uh, they advertised The constant that. use of the term bullshit. <laughs> um, Sam Adams was actually in his 50s. Oh, was he? He wasn't a, a young brash. I didn't realize that. All right, let's go back and ex- examine this door. Yeah, but it was still pretty interesting, though, Joel. I mean, it... Well, yeah. Did they advertise that in the movie theater? I saw that in uh, the previews. Uh oh, Jeff's fading. We're losing him. No, yeah, actually, there, a lot of it was pretty. Right, go Is it some of the out? broader strokes? Yeah, I, I think it's safe to go back and hit that door. Yeah, like, okay, uh, let's, the let's farm, do that. Using the farm as a, a, a place of bearing everything. So there's the a door. 30 feet north on the west wall, right there. How about further is it, south? Is it a triple wide door? Uh, yeah, there's some things down here too. Let's, so draw, draw it, let's just draw it quick. Alright, there is a door yes. on the east wall 30 feet from the bottom, right there. And the hallway opens up. Oh, Actually, the racer's not bad. Not 90 feet from the bottom. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 90. It opens up there. I got it. This is not that bad for drawing. No, definitely not. The TV makes it easy because not like uh, Joel. I have to give Joel a piece of paper every ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> Back in the old days. Oh, your DMs used to check your maps. <laughs> we just got described, and if we didn't get it, too bad. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, all right, so let's go back up and hit this this door on the top here. My guess is this all inner connection here somehow. There's just not enough room to play around otherwise. Yeah. So we hit this top oh, they're door. They're both like room yeah, closets. The, the door is unlocked. Okay. It opens up into a 20 by 30 room. Does it include that other door? There's another door. So 30 feet down, 20 feet across. One, two, three. Oops, go there. I don't know which way across to get sloppy. They were looking for a they finished off that room. On this mapping scale, so. <laughs> Big Phil. Alright, so what's in the room? This room appears to be empty, except appears. for an odd shaped mound in the southwest corner of the room. Rustling and faint squeaking noises seem to come from the mound. That's, here's your bangers, your rats, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and Metsopolis is getting pretty antsy back in. In the path. Mm. Not liking this, huh? Or it's she's like trying to trying to get out. It's a mass of rats. It's a like a giant rat. Like a debris thing. pile, I think you said. Squeaky. Yeah, it's like a it's like a rat it's like a rat mound. Yeah. Uh, I have one word. Fire. Fire is right. Fire. Ah. Fire just tossed some torches in there. I like it. That's good. Unless there's a scroll in there. What I'm willing to chance that. Sure. Let's do it. We step out, we light some fire, we come back in, we toss it in the pile. Well, the, when you're coming back in, there's um, a bunch of rats that are chasing them. Giant rats or regular size rats? They're giant. Oh, cool. Who do we want to fight them or close the door and just leave them in there? They're giant Oh, no, rats. we're killing rats. Bob wants his 120 XP. Besides, Mephistopheles is going crazy. How many, Joel? Roughly. Roughly. Uh, roughly ten. I can't. If I walk <coughs> away, Mephistopheles will not forgive me, and it's not good when the cat doesn't talk to me. Are you gonna let Mephistopheles lose? Because the cat right. won't come back the very next day. Roll for initiative. Uh, Bob, your turn. All right, here we go. D6. Pick one. Pick one. I'm going, rolling, and a two. You fail. A powerful two. Okay, you have initiative. Huh. All right. <laughs> and here's the challenge for you. There's small. Up with ten names for ten rats. Oh <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna start with the first rat, if you don't mind. Uh, rat one. Uh, sleepy. He casts sleep spell. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say because I, I, I'm thinking there's there's Timothy, uh, Nicodemus. I was gonna oh, go boy. sleepy, dopey, bashful. That's, but there's not twelve dwarves. We get, or ten for we that. We got seven dwarfs, and then you just We could use the twelve there. apostles and drop two. Oh, there you go. That's that might be kind of t- plus yeah. sleepy. <laughs> Do you guys think of something that there's ten of? Numbers one through ten. Rat one through ten. No, no, no. We need a real... ten players on a softball team. You could name a, a well-known softball team. 
No, but we, we could call the pitcher the pitcher with the first baseman. Who? What? Tomorrow? Today? <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is really simple. Right? I don't know. I mean, we got, like, the, Third base! I mean, they're, they're rats, but we can use mice names, too. I mean, those, right? I mean, it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. I think Justin was one. I'm trying to... I'm mixing a lot Scabbers. of... Uh, Scabbers. Hitch, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Scabbers. Finch and Frankie. That's good, yeah. Cool. And we got Nim. That's what, that's what Nick Itchy is. and Scratchy. Oh, yeah. and I forget what the boy's Wait, name instead was. Of, instead of the Mrs. Frisbee? Mrs. Frisbee? Mrisbee? Mrisbee? Uh, you know what? Oh, before Stuart? Stuart. Stuart. Okay, you guys. One, one through ten. Uh, just cast a sleep spell on them. Save it. Rats Save it. He just said it's going to be easy. They're, they're, All right. they're weak. All right, well, hold on. Save it. All right. It's 15 minutes to restore, though. I know, but save it. All right. Mr. Jingles. Everybody has to name their rat as they fire. As they shoot. All right, then... Then darts are going, I guess. Well, actually, you guys go kill them, because I'm not going to hit anything. Uh, I will attack uh, Nicodemus and Mrs. Brisby. Good luck. This is an attack on Mrs. Brisby. Ooh. Uh, oh. Ten? Ooh, that might do it. That's with your plus four? Who's this? Yeah. This is, uh, oh, this is Efron. Okay. No, a ten, uh, no, a ten misses. You don't have any pluses? I, that's with the pluses. He got a plus four on that. That's a miss. Yeah. You got one more shot. I just so this love biting that cooking the giant hair being in it. That one got thrown out. <laughs> oh, boy. So this is the attack on Nicodemus. That was a... That was another oh! Another ten? No, another a one. One and a one. Oh, wow. So, yeah, Nicodemus just... I don't know. He caught my arrow with his teeth. <laughs> and snapped it. I'm still thinking about the sleep spell. I'm going to throw my... Uh, I don't know if everybody rolls as poorly as I do. Throw an axe. Are we on top of them or are they right? They're close range. Can I use melee? Yeah, I'm going to smash the sun that one. Step on it. Because I think Justin was the actual, was a rat who was in the car. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fuck this up. 14. Hit. I think Timothy was the, the boy who was sick. What's the name of your rat? Jeff? Scruffy. Charlie Brown, Lucy, Linus, Sally, the little bit of girl. Eight, eight damage, ten. nine damage. All right, that we squashed that one really good. Come on, I could have got, got ten for you there. Ten <laughs> damage. Next. I got Mike. Jeremy was there. Mike, uh, go, ahead. go ahead, Mike. You flattened yours. Some rat stew coming up. All right, step so... I am going to take care of... Things. Uh, Ren and The Rat King, Benji, and Frankie. Great. Oh, no, I'm looking at the 1982 one. Okay, here at? we go. Yeah, Justin. The thing is, you have to equate the actor who did the voice with the character in the show. Uh, an 18 and a 14. I think you've got to look it up on IMDb or something. Yeah, those uh, are both Wikipedia. hits. A 5 and a 3 for damage to each of those. Okay, so Benji dies, Frankie dies. Okay, and then Kalar is gonna go. Yeah. And she is, uh, she's going after the Rat King. There's the whole, the whole mouse family from um, and Fievel. And the uh, Fievel would be a good name. And Rat Tat Tatooine. Charlie Brown, mm -hmm. Sally, Linus, Lucy, Peppermint, Patty. But they're not well, nice. She rolls a Patty. eleven and a fourteen. The 11 misses, the 14 hits. Okay. And she rolls a 5 for damage. So, Ratatouille. Damn, the Rat King is still alive. How many are left? Oh, did we name one the Rat King, like from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes, good job, Mikey. Okay, um, Ashley will attack Master Splinter. Oh! With her magic sword that I don't know what it does. Hmm. Hopefully it does damage. She rolled a five. Nope. Does it give her plus ten? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is the first time she's uh Ducat will toss three darts. Who are you attacking, Ducat? Stigo Master Splinter. He got a twenty and a fifteen. Hmm. Uh those are one to three and one to three, I believe. Two and one, so three points of damage to one of them. Name. Master Splinter. Oh, okay. So Master Splinter is dead. I killed Master Splinter. Ha ha ha! You are a shredder. I am badass. Impressive. Nobody kills Master Splinter. Next. 
Who's left? Um, I guess uh, Kevlarn pulls out his uh, mace and strikes with his mace. An 18. Yeah. Which Who's does. Attacking? Oh, uh, he's attacking Nim. Well, I don't think we've attacked yet. The secret of Nim. Nice. For six points of damage. We're rolling the damage nice and today. And then. Uh, Actually, I, it's a footman's mace? Yeah. Footman's. It's two to seven. Oh, so seven points. Yeah. Uh, and then I think we're going to do one. F- have, there's three left, something like that? One dart for there's each. Four left. Yeah. There's four focus, left. So focus. focus. I know make sure you get one. All right. Nicodemus are still up. So we'll focus on Brisby with three darts a 1, a 12, and a 19. Okay, the 19 does 4 points of damage. And that's the end of Mrs. Brisby. Okay. Who was that? That was Miss Brisby. Uh, oh. oh, sorry, that was uh, Elric. So Kevlorn got one and Elric got one. And Elric is done and Kevlorn are done. Does anybody else have a character that has not gone? The dark's only one. Did Kevlorn go? It's okay, we'll let it go. Mike yes. Uh, K- yes, Kalar and Eldane went, so we're good. Who was the one that killed Benji? Uh, that was uh, Kalar. Okay. Oh. All right, so, the, so we've got. Uh, yeah, Benji is a rat terrier. Okay. I haven't been to work. So we got three rats left. I haven't been to work since Friday. <laughs> okay. I have 468 out of messages. Dude, that's it. I filter and I get more than that. Well, you're and just a wonderful. The three other rats run away. They, they scurried did, back. Did we name them all? Because I had more one to be named Fievel. There, there was one unnamed. Fievel. It was Fievel. Fievel. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what's in the mound? When it ran away, was it singing somewhere out there? <laughs> um, you can see Rat um, poop. shiny stones and shiny coins in there. Fantastic. I think we're going to exercise some caution, though. We'll use our swords and poke and a bit fix. and uh, see if we can pry out some of the shiny. Pull it apart without touching too much stuff. Yeah. Okay. Eldane uses his imm- immaculate ability to instantly determine how much <laughs> treasure is there. He says there's 300 gold pieces and four gems worth 500 gold pieces each. Wow. Oh. Eldane, are you dr- uh, keeping track of this stuff? Yeah. Hold on. Say that again, Joel. 300 gold pieces. Okay. And four gems, 500 gold pieces each. Why that is. Because he's going to have it all together. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Do we are slowly getting closer to the end of the night. And nothing to spend it on right now. And mm-hmm. absolutely nothing to spend it on. Or rather, no place to spend it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, like, ridiculously rich. Like, yeah, because we're living in a temple like, we, out in like, the we, desert. We can retire. We can retire. Mikey? Mikey? Are we Richie Rich Rich? Oh, we, we make Richie Rich look poor. There, I fixed the map, because I know you guys were upset about it. Oh, oh, thanks. Richie 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 I'm going to have to go Scrooge McDuck. Uh, I, I feel like Scrooge McDuck because he... Because he, he can spend He it. swims in his money. I, I would also say that he uh, is a duck yeah. that talks... And people treat him like a normal person, which you have to be incredibly rich for that to happen. While Richie Rich is just a boy that talks. Well, then, then Richie but who's Rich richer? Richie has Richard these or... great big huge mansions and jet planes and fancy gold plated cars, while Scrooge McDuck won't spend one Scrooge Mc... single... Scrooge McDuck has gyro. <laughs> yeah, but Scrooge McDuck is breaking the race barrier, which is like, there's so much money involved to break that barrier. That's incredible that normal human beings talk to so him. So Scrooge is more... Uh... But he, he's richer because he doesn't spend as much. Oh, that was yeah. his name. Uh... Reggie, what's Reggie's last name? Money worth? All right, anyway. Where are we going? We want to go up here or down here? I don't know where he's going. Huh? Cadbury. Batman? Cadbury, yes. Butler. Bruce Wayne? Butler. But uh, Richie had an arch nemesis, Reggie. Mm. And I forget what his last name was. It was something like Money Worth. Reginald Vaughn something. Mm. And it had something. Show. Impressive memory. <laughs> Money in the name. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Are we going up here or down here? I had a rich couple of Richie Rich comics. As a kid. Let's finish off that top part and then go down. That was my inclination too. Yeah. So we're going to go up to this area, Joel. Northwestern portion. Yes, we will take a peek down this corridor as we, drive, as we walk past it. That corridor extends an additional 40 feet, ends, and there's a door on the eastern wall. So that's 40 feet like that, right? 
40. From what? Yeah, there's an additional 40. Van Doe. That was Reggie's last name, Van Doe. Mm. And there's a door right there. Yep, I had to draw that across. Did I lose Mikey? No, I'm here. What's up? I didn't hear that though. There's well, it was really the arch nemesis, was he? He was just the kind of the spoil. Well, I think it was more. That Reggie, Reggie thought that Richie was his arch nemesis, and Richie just didn't care. Because he was, you know, cool like that. Here's a fun piece of trivia. Do you know Miss Brisby was originally named Miss Frisbee until they got into trouble with the Whammo Frisbee Company? And they thought they were going to get sued, so they then they changed her name to Miss Brisby to avoid getting sued. All so right. she Mrs. Brisby and Mrs. What do we got up here, Joel? Mrs. Frisby and the Rats of Men, the book. Mm, maybe. It's okay. Did you know that Frisby stole that name too? Because of, I think it was on the Yale campus. To the West. Frisby pies. Yes. And, and the students would throw the empty pie tins. Yeah. That's where we got the idea for the Frisby. This is interesting. They actually had already recorded all the dialogue, and they couldn't get all the actors back. Really? So they manually went in cut the audio, and cut off the F to make it sound like a frisbee, and then stuck it back in manually in every part of the That's audio. Awesome. That's crazy. So was Mrs. Frisbee? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They hand sliced I the might have got a little lean on this. Other words spoken by the actors. Oh, okay. And pasted it over the next so like that? track. Yep. I wonder if that was Is this area open? Can I fill this? No. Better, better than getting sued, I guess. Sure. All right. So what do we got left going here, guys? Trust me, I know I know how bad interns can be, even the good ones. All right, there we go. That's satisfying. Yeah. All right, so we got the left here now, I guess. It's also Will Wheaton's film debut. Oh, he played Martin. All right, so we go left here. We'll go to the open area first. Okay, so one, two. So on the corner of this room, it turns south. An additional thirty feet. Uh, the second. Like eleven or twelve. Yeah. Oh, I want that to tell. It wasn't extended. Mm. Amy and I watched Flubber with the girls the night and Will Wheaton was in it. And like, Will Wheaton did movies? Oh, don't you remember the core? Oh, Will Wheaton? oh man, I saw he did... Science uh, was so stand bad. Stand by me? Yeah. yeah. Stand Other by than me. that, though. Uh, let's see, he did Liar, The Liars Club. He did uh, Toy Soldiers. Hmm. Yeah. And this oh. is all before I grew the huge man no, crush. No, 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 <laughs> that has actually the waned in the past few years. Never made it to a uh, TNG movie, Oh, he no. actually, he did film a scene at Riker's wedding. Yes, but he, it was left on the cutting room floor. He and Ashley so Judd were, because Ashley Judd oh, was Oh, she was in the movie too? Well, it goes, which way do you the door? The yep, they were at a table. I didn't know. Yeah. They got cut. I knew it was him, but I didn't know it was Ashley Judd too. I remember following his blog at the time. He was like, I'm so excited. They invited me. I just went to the wardrobe. I'm going to be with Ashley Judd. It's great. Like, oh, she was, because she was the girl from the game. I was yeah. Ashley Judd was in the top five. Uh, female, best looking females in the TNG. I think we all remember number one was. I had a Jensen. <laughs> I had a no. crush on Ashley Judd when I saw her. Walks out of Troy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. She was a looker in her day, though. That's right. So this has to jog down, I'm guessing, based on the layout of the pyramid. I, I definitely think that the computer I agree voice of. Is yeah, that jog down, Joel? All right, let's figure it on there. We're, okay, yeah, we're searching for secret doors the whole way around through here. Yes. Did yeah, she yeah, yeah. on screen in the original series? Or when you get to the south end there, where it opens up. She's the voice. She's always and she's always been the voice of the computer. As you walk down yeah. the corridor, searching for traps cautiously. The shimmering ghost-like figures of a man and a woman appear before you. Guys. Man, the they are ghost. dressed in costly clothing and both wear golden crowns. The man raises his hand and gestures for you to stop. I stop. We stop. We stop. Go no further, he warns, lest the curse of King Alexander overtake you. I am Queen Zenobia, the woman says. Turn back, only death awaits you. 
Now I need everybody to make the saving throw for spells. We are death. We haven't got it. I can turn around. Oh shit, After saving throws are on this freaking cheap sheet. You gotta roll equal to or under. Equal to or over. Oh, sorry, equal to or over. Spells? You're right. No. Yes. Higher oh, yeah. is better, isn't it? Yeah, you wanna roll over, over it. Over it. Higher is better, so you gotta roll over. But it's so high. No, I mean, like, having a higher saving throw is better. Whew, 13. No. Pellerks made it. Oh, fuck me. Spells. Clerics. Oh my god, I gotta roll 15. That's what Kevlorn has to roll, too. Ah. Wait, don't you get pluses with your it. wisdom? <laughs> Not with a 5. Um, I rolled a 10. Wait, do I get pluses for saving throw? Would you have to get 15? Yeah. And let's say he's got a. I think he's got oh, a 16. Do I have a plus 4 <laughs> for saving Nothing. No Nothing. Uh, do we have uh, oh, there's a magical attack adjustment. That might be what you're looking at. Yes. Yeah. It's in the sheet. Four it's in the pack that I gave you. Oh, thank you, man. By the way, a one is always a failure. Okay, Ducat makes it with a 17, Joel. I'm not going to get Mike, six more. I'm not going to get any more spells. I'm so sorry, what was that? You need to roll saving throw over spells. Both of you do. Ducat makes yeah. it with a 17. And Plus Ashley two. Two. fails miserably. I didn't know. I was wondering if you need to roll charm spell. I make it with a plus four. Against spell. Saving throw over spells. Yeah, it's a 15 for a level. Okay, but we're rolled out, so I want to yeah, tell you. Yeah, but it didn't matter because I used my mighty one, which is better. Right, so you need a 15. Right. So you made it. See, I got a 10? What about Kevlar? I got a 16 spells? No, no. Yeah, no, for no, Kevlar, you got to roll for spells. Okay, Eldane makes it, Kevlar does not. And Kevlar does not make it, and Elric does. Ashley does not, Ducat does. I made it. Am I the only main character who didn't make it? You rolled a 17? I, I needed a uh, 16, I rolled 12, That's but I right. plus 4. All right, now, so the, I don't know. <clears throat> the people that made it, they they sit there and look at the Shimmering Ghost guys and say, oh, you know, that's pretty pretty weird. The people that failed it need to roll a D4. This does not bode well. No, it doesn't. Thank you. Three. Three. Copycat. Set. One. One. I get plus four. So I made it. Because he's a dwarf. So all the all the ones that failed it run back from where you came from in fear. Get back here, you coward! Guys, guys, come back! Come back! Han Solo with Chewie. We better go collect them. If they race through this into some. Okay, we chase we, we, we chase them down. We chase them down and try to calm them and hold them back. Good thing I'm huddling with Ashley. Uh, no, she's running. Yeah, once I catch up to her, because I'm running too. You can't catch her. No, no, no. Her and I took off at the same time. Once we realized what we've done... She tripped you, dude. She only had to be faster than one person. <laughs> so she tripped your ass. <laughs> Since the dwarf was running. Are we able to find them, the ones who fled? Are we able to ca yeah. catch them? Yeah, they're cowering away in the, the room with the, with the uh, ramp. How long does it take to, to for the effects to wear off and for them to calm down? How, whatever you're rolling your D for. Mm -hmm. How many rounds? One round. Three rounds. Three rounds. I'll control right, Ashley. One, one round for Kalar. Dude, she's even more scared. Of you. A round is uh, one minute? Or six minutes? Uh, a round is a minute. A round is a one minute. A segment is six seconds. That's right. So, All right. so by the time you growl at everybody, everybody's calm down. Okay. Listen, we should still press onward. It's a, it's a defense, of course. They're warning us, but... There's something there. We I think we should check the rest of the stuff out, and then we'll go back there if we want to. Okay. But I think let's just handle that stuff. Uh, you want to hit that room, then, that's closer to that area? Sure. Yeah. I agree. Wussies. Right. <clears throat> There's still any stuffed cabbage left. <laughs> Joel's got lunch tomorrow. There's stuffed cabbage left. Yeah, I didn't think that would happen. Elding turns to Kaylar and says, come on. Snap I was thinking about like, you can take it. You can give it to your mom. I took one out for her, right? so there's three others left. So. Yeah, and you guys can take it. It's okay, I got enough. No, it's just me. I'll get you a container. I'll, just, I'll volunteer to take one for you home. <laughs> it's an even more special treat for you than for us, I understand. <laughs> Unless you want to pee. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm going right, on so vacation. Have you not been on the polls for you? Uh, Puerto Rico. Family reunion. Uncle Eddie. Right. So that opens up. You didn't go on the polls for you? <laughs> 50 foot wide Sorry. by 40 foot tall room. My mom used to make a couple. 50 feet across, uh, up to this wall. Oh, oh, really? Oh. 40, 50 across? Take all that nice. 
later on she wanted to put it in the farm. Like that? that? Yeah. The first 10 years of my life. Oh. How did she do it? Boiled kibasi. Full of, like, the door of this room. Cheese. It's scorched, as is the end of the corridor. Guys, the door and room of this are scorched. The outline of a man-shaped humanoid form is etched into the scorched wall section. This is in the room or on the outside of the room? This is out here in the hallway. Oh, but we went in the room anyway. The door to the room is slightly open, but not enough to see into the room. Oh, don't open the door. We've already looked in. Talk. <laughs> Too late. Huh? That evokes memories of Hiroshima. You know the. Uh, Ooh, is a picture? Oh, yeah, with like the shadows of the another little that picture. Turned onto the bridge. Nice. <laughs> you want to share that with Bob? With the Mikey? That's right, too. Oh, wow. Mikey, you're going to like this photo. You know the irony is? He's giving us the module. All we want is the picture. Yeah, all we want is the picture. Well, it's because we're honest. Yeah, you're not taking the picture of the. It takes away the fun if we were to one. look at the yeah. rest. Got it. That's a pretty cool picture. It's backwards, though. Does the description say that it's the image of the, a person burned over the wall? Uh, a humanoid form. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's drawn. It's drawn in reverse. It should be blackened all around with white in the middle. Mm. Or maybe not. That's how I would imagine it. But but that's it depends on exactly what happened. Yeah. That that artist, uh, his stuff looks very familiar. I think I've seen some of the Choose Your Own Adventure books. I think he's done some of the the illustrations for that. Choose Your Own Adventure. I love those. The art credits go to Jim Holloway, Harry Quinn, and Stephen P. Sullivan. I think Jim Holloway. Yeah, yeah. Apparently it does, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Is that particular picture signed? Um, no, I'm not seeing it. Well, we're going to peek in or not? Door's open. The track's been sprung, in my opinion. Fire door's open. Fire it up. You know what? You, would you like, Master, for us to send an invisible servant in? We can't tell us what's in there. Well, what about, what about, what about your cat? So as you peek into the room, along the walls are painted paintings of a priest performing ceremonies. On a raised dais in the middle of the room lies an open bronze sarcophagus. Here, three hideous beast-like humanoids are tearing a mummified body apart with their sharp claws. Uh, is that what is painted in the sarcoph sarcophagus, please? Or is that what's happening in three dimensions live in front of us? That's what we're seeing. <laughs> There's nothing painted on the sarcophagus. So okay. that's what's happening right there now. Are three Do we recognize the creatures? With my uh, rangerly yeah. knowledge of creatures. Yeah, you start thinking about the walking dead. Zombies. Uh, oh, wait. Aren't they like... Rangers hate undead, don't they? Yeah. Let's take them. Yeah! I think the druids especially. Right there in Nephilim. Yeah. Do so that. But maybe rangers too. Well, I, was th I think John, I know. We, we had this discussion. <laughs> Zombies. It's not a zombie, it's a ghoul. It's a ghoul. Mm. Ghouls are bad. I say we take them. Right? I'm just saying. Ghouls they don't see us right now. We What's get a surprise attack. Throw? We get a surprise attack. I think we throw everything we got. I think this is the, this is the magic missile time, etc. Okay. I think we try to take them out. How many are there? Three? Three. I have no spells that will help since it's all... Or do we want to try to turn them? Yeah, lead with that. Dude. Well, can we... If we turn them, they just run away, right? Unless he's strong enough to destroy them. We're not that. We're not that level. Save up, hold on your turning, and we'll see how many we drop. Yeah. Oh boy, what are good things for the hmm. Bob. No, um, he's, a, he's an intellectual. I want my own Bob. <laughs> Preferably the Bob that, that was owned by Dresden, not the one by Justin. So, uh, are we able to get a surprise round on them, or do we have to roll for initiative? Uh, we're going to have to roll for initiative with, with the bombs. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Adam, I think. Okay, I want to see how good Adam is here. What if I said Bob? <sighs> no, I just I think Wolverine. George Romero's Day of the Dead movie. Oh, oh you know I've actually the, never seen the, Day of the Dead. The zombie that they tested on that that wasn't eating them. He named them Bub. Mm. That was the blue zombie movie, right? 
I didn't see that That's one. That's the one in the basement, or like in the uh, military bunker in the room. Four. A budget must not have been too big for that one. I want to know what happens if I turn something and what happens to it. Which one no. was the one at the mall? I think it just runs away. Is it it the the DMD? That was the mall that... That was, that that was the Dawn of the Dead. That was the mall that had the shooting at the other day. Not, hey, that mall was actually not too far from where we're going to be in Pennsylvania. Hmm. Mike, you heard about that shooting there two or three days yes. ago? Yeah. Mike, did yeah. you find us a room, a hotel yet? Yeah, so um, just FYI, guys. So um, there are two hotels, both Marriott's. Uh, the, the rates actually that are through um, Tough Mudder, uh, 119 a night or 129 a night. Not bad. Uh, one's a residence in, one's a courtyard. They're all they're both about 25, 20, 25 minutes from, from the, this field. Um, but I wanted what I wanted to know from you guys is, are you so we're just Sunday morning? Are you guys coming down Saturday night? Probably. Yeah, Andrew and I are definitely coming the night before. I'm just not sure what time we're going to show up. Okay, so how many how many rooms do you want me to book for us? Yeah. Oh, we can book our own room, dude. Well, I mean, I'm I'm like a platinum member at Marriott, so let me see what oh. I can do first. Okay. I mean, I don't know if that'll do anything for us, but I'm I'm sure even if we if I can't get that rate, I can definitely get us rooms. Um. So. Yeah, I, sounds I, I like a plan. I doubt the rooms are I doubt the rooms are sold out, but if they are, and I book them. They will actually bump other people so that I can have my rooms. Well, then you can definitely count on one one room for Andrea and myself. That's a that's a guarantee, Mike. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So definitely one for you and Andrea. I would say that and it'll probably. I can almost guarantee Amy's going to come because she has a relative down there. Oh. But let me find would out from her. Would she stay with you, or would she stay with? Yeah, them? maybe she should stay with the relatives, and I'll just bunk with Jeff. <laughs> I'll get back to you, but Mikey. We'll we'll, we'll sort it out this week. I'm basically we're thinking like three rooms. Is yeah, what I, I will get back to you too. Got to find out if Naomi's okay. going or not. There's a reasonable chance that Naomi would go, and if she goes, then we would want to be open. All right. So. And okay. I think yeah. yeah. So right, right now we're looking at about 120 bucks for the rooms. So. Okay. And if Mike's got his platinum pass, that means we get access to the special room with the breakfast. Yes, at the Marriotts. We, yeah. we we get free breakfast at the Marriott. That'd be pretty cool. Sweet. So our initiative is a four. <laughs> Sorry to derail us from that. That was good. Bring us right back. I just tried. <laughs> that was good. In, case, in case we happen to have any listeners that are still listening and they're wondering what we were talking about, this game group is participating in a Tough Mudder competition. We don't know what we're thinking. Our team name is Mudders and Dragons. <laughs> oh, hey, speaking of Mudders and Dragons... Um, are we ordering those shirts that you came up with, Care? Eventually. Jeff doesn't join the team. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. We need uh, Jeff on there. Don't worry. I just have to switch my thing over. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't joined the team either because I can't figure out how to get it to join the team. Okay, they, but there were instructions in one of the emails that said they'll dig it up and reset it to you. Yeah, Josh put good okay. instructions out there. All right, back to this. I am wondering yeah. if we're going to reach 100 replies on that particular thing. All right, well, ju just an FYI, <laughs> customink.com. For the for the t-shirts. All right. Oh. And just just for the image, I was at where was I? Burlington with the wife, and at Jeff's suggestion, they had a pair of compression pants that I bought for ten bucks. Oh boy. <laughs> so Josh in compression short. Not, not shorts. Oh boy. Pants. You're asking a lot of those pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, not that I'm suggesting you go out and buy these shoes. But I will tell you, reading the blogs, everybody says that if you want the best shoes for doing a Tough Mudder, Solomon Speed Cross 3. Yeah, like 80 bucks a pop, though. Mm -hmm. They're like 80 bucks, but I'm telling everybody says they are the best shoe. I mean, they're oh, by the way, they are, the if you want to buy gloves, do not buy the ones on the... On the... Uh, Tough Mudder site? On the website for Tough Mudder. The ones you want are something called Mad Grip. Amazon. Like ten bucks a pair, dude. Yeah, well, I'll start another thread about equipment. <laughs> so, all right, back to. So our initiative is a four. <laughs> Adam's not running. <laughs> if it was a video podcast, everybody would understand why. Yeah. <laughs> the, party, the party gets initiative if you want it. Um, the, yeah. The rules are good. preoccupied with what they're doing there when they. Oh yeah. All right, so well, they'll reopen up, and then the, ma the magic users will decide for putting spells in. Mm -hmm. I can hold person on all three of them eventually. I don't think it's going to work on them. 
I think that's only a living creature. I think we need to. We're we're missing the important aspect of this, guys. Hit him hard. What names do we come up with for rules? <laughs> Uh, I got one. Shane. Beetlejuice. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Andrea. <laughs> oh, Lori was never Tyrese. turned. Dale. Oh, very good. Dale. Dale. He would never turned either. Sophia. The, the, the zombie made it out of his belly. Yeah, but he never turned into a zombie. Okay, fine. You name me the last Sophia. one. Sophia. Hey, Sophia, yeah. yeah I, just, I, I don't know. I, I think Andrea, Merle? Dale, and... Merle is Or no, Shane. Andrea, Shane, Shane. and Lori. If we're going to go with the one who wasn't turned, it should be Lori. Okay. Because I would love to fucking kill her again. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to shoot two arrows at Lori. <laughs> fucking hated her. Uh, 16. At front. Ranger. Who the hell's whole person? I wonder if that actress has gotten any work since then. Yeah, 16's a hit. All right. Three damage. And then I'm going to shoot at Lori again uh, for the same amount, 16. That's this fair. time for five damage, so a total of eight mm. on Lori. Good round. Okay. Fucking hate her. Uh, oh my Mike, God. you want to go next? It's a testament to the actors and the writers that they can write a character that I hate with such a passion. Yeah, so cool. it's been a while since we fucked on me, so I don't remember, but I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to shoot him with my bow. Because that's all Kalar has. What an actor. I mean, she has a sword too, but. So Kalar's gonna. Interesting, there's no undead on this list. Go first. She rolled a 19 and a 14. Was it both hits? Who is she uh, hitting? Yeah, yeah. Shane, Uh, Sophia, or Humans are humanoid. She's hitting uh, Daryl. But there's a list over there. And uh, Shane. There's no Daryl. Oh no, who was it Shane? There was Lori. Hit Lori until she's dead. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Focus. Lori and Shane. Yeah. Right, so we have Lori, Shane, and Sophia. Those are the three. Right. Okay, alright, so uh, we're shooting Lori. And she does a total for the two hits of nine points. Okay. Wow. It's the same thing. Simultaneous attacks, except for spell casters. Ouch. I know. Do you keep on focusing, or do you move on to the next? That's the question. What we do is that we, we surreptitiously so open up our... Uh, those are some serious attacks against the... How much damage have we done to Lori so far? Like 17. I did 8. Plus 9 from Kalar. Puts us at 17 on Lori. <coughs> okay, Ashley is going to move on with her two arrows to Shane. Okay. Is that a safe bet? Yeah, yeah. 17 is a pretty significant number. So you can magic missile... If, if one's still standing, you can magic him missile and drop it. A one and a 16. Oh, that's good. So Shane takes two. Where's my second I'm going to throw an axe for Shane. Did you remember to pick it up last time? Yes. Okay. Oh, unseen server. Sneaking yeah. Unseen server. Nine. Eight. Mm. Oh, hello. Nine is a miss, and eight is a miss. I'm the attention slot. Hmm. I think she just wants my water. Wow. <laughs> pretty worthless today, except for squashing rats and, and identifying corners. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Guys, this is a corner. See how the, <laughs> there's two walls? All right, has everybody gone except for the, the spellcasters? Uh, oh, Kevlar, the, the mage. He can, uh, oh, and, and or he can LB turn on dead. Too, sorry. He can attempt to turn on dead. He'll, he'll try to turn him dead. Eldane has to go first. Eldane has to go first. Go El- Eldane, who are you targeting? Shane? Um, Shane. Sure, Shane. Okay, Shane. Targeting Shane. He rolled a 12 and a 14. Those are both misses. Wow. Oh, wait. This is a, with his bow. So it's a 13 and a 15, sorry. The 15's a hit. All right. So it's a turn of ghoul. He's third level, right? So he does three yep. points of damage. So he has a ten. Okay. It's not bad but I don't know how many he affects. It's in the turn of dead description. Zero for no, it's not. Thing? Each creature? Oh, Any, actually. Anybody else? Uh, yeah, we're, we're at, Bob and I are discussing on turning undead for a second. Uh, 
I think the now we're, one, we're we're at the what's that? The oh. He's the cleric, so he's thinking about turning. Okay, procedure. D twenty is rolled, and if the number shown is master exceeded by the die roll, the undead are turned. From one to twelve, undead are affected. Oh wow! Good clerics cause the creature to move directly away from his or her person and stay as far away as possible for not less than three or more than twelve rounds. Moving at full speed, the un the turned undead will be able to come back again, but they are subject to further turning. Uh, that's it. Okay. So we'll just you, you could just trap him in the corner and we'll just pick him off then. Yeah. You want to turn? No, go you first. All right. So Kevlarn will uh, raise forth the holy symbol of the goddess Sakara of magic, and uh, the symbol begins to glow slightly as. He murders foul creatures. Be gone. And his turn undead is a four. Oh. So he has failed in his attempt <coughs> to turn undead. And his turn is over. I take it that they're... Yeah. Alright, Dukat looks at him and says, Amateur. <laughs> Rolls a 14. Oh, you got it. Turning all... It should, turn, should turn all three. I need to tell how many... You turn the page on the DMG on? guide. Doesn't it say one to twelve? We're in so so it's, 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 it's we don't know roll. if we turn alone. When I turn the page in the in the DMG, Joel, it says. Um, is the roll hit total hit die? No, a D twenty is rolled, and if the number shown is master exceeded by the die roll, the undead are turned. From one to twelve, undead are affected. So I think you so roll. have to roll. Yeah, because it says or seven to twelve. So yeah, so I have to roll. Nine. Ooh, nice. That's a yeah. niner. That's good. So, the ghoul glory plummets to the ground in a pile of goo. Oh, yeah. And Shane and Sophia turn and uh, try to get as far away. Exit in the corner. Does that mean the closer you get, the more viciously they'll hit the wall? I don't know. Just pluck them off mm, now. Like they're frantically trying to escape. I would buy that. Seems very yeah. I, I I hold up my pentacle. Push him off the bridge. <laughs> and now we uh, oh, these are, uh, we uh, shoot him full of pins, uh, pins and darts, and we we finish off the other two. Uh, do you think we can finish them off in three rounds of s yeah. seven people attacking? Um, no. Eldane grabs a hair, takes his knife, plunges it into the brain. Ooh, that's very Walking Dead. Well, he says knife. It was actually a butter knife. <laughs> and it just it, it actually just kind of smooshes Dukat, it Dukat takes his axe that's a great big swing Locks not, not Dukat Dukat's wait, wait. the one who turned him Darter Darter well Darter takes his axe take a, takes a great big swing and misses no that would be Ooh. never mind alright so we examine the room and everything else collect our arrows I pick up my throwing uh, I think uh, Elric is going to take a piece of you would, you, the finger you know, of a ghoul that could be useful at some point by the way, you remember that the elves in the group are not subject to the paralyzation attack by the ghouls? Oh, they yeah. Got it. Elves are immune to that. I did not know that. I didn't make it. I made it a non issue. Yeah, you did. You're all welcome. Thank you. <laughs> How many times can you turn in a day? I think you continue to do it. I don't think there's a limit. Hmm. All right, let's examine this area. I thought was a... Like, like an encounter. Okay, the... Um, oh, paladins have a limit, but clerics don't. Were the, That's right. the ghouls were uh, busy tearing apart the body. You notice that they threw away onto the ground a, um, a jeweled neck, a uh, very valuable looking jeweled necklace and two valuable looking jeweled bracelets. The party all jumps on top of the jewels. <laughs> Which <laughs> clawing at it. Which Eldane immediately scoops up as he's stabbing one of them in the head. Okay, that's just Eldane. That's not us. Oh, do, any, do any of them exude, exude any magical impact? No. no. Okay. So... Eldane estimates that the jeweled necklace is worth fifteen hundred gold pieces. Oh my gosh! And We're done. Jeweled bracelets are worth six hundred gold pieces. <laughs> okay. Kill Eldane, take the rest of the treasure, <clears throat> and live by myself. Live. Uh, know, anything else of note in there? My new evil alive. Well, they were tearing apart the high priest's burial body. And there's nothing cleric in there. Isn't no it staff? crazy? I would like to point out how amazing this coincidence is that. Here, this body has, has sat for 2,000 years, and we just happened to walk in right as the corpse is being plundered. God, isn't that an amazing... What if we had set up camp and come in, in, in 20 minutes later? I know. We never would have missed it. We never would have gotten it. It's crazy. It's crazy to think of it. <laughs> I guess we loop around and go to that left 
turn off there at the bottom. We go to the southeast. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Do the ghouls look like they were human? Like they were once of the same race of people who worship these gods? Ghouls are the ghouls are never they're just ghouls. Oh, I thought they they're not raised humanoids dead. turned into undead. No, no, I don't think so. Well, they're dead. You guys know a whole lot more about this stuff than I do. So All right, as, as, party, show, as the party walks yeah, they, around they here, something. searching for secret doors. Searching for secret doors. Yeah, they have to, Aircraft and be yeah. careful. Pay close attention to the slope of the floor. Um, all of a sudden, the wall opens up in the north, uh, the north part of the corridor. Oh, he got gotcha. you! And a ten-foot-wide round boulder starts rolling down, and rolling down toward you. It's Indiana uh, freaking Jones. Say, is there, is there the music with this boulder? Where are we right now? You are right around there. I hit snakes. About sixty or seventy feet away. What's your guy's name? Efron. Ashley pushes Efron to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> He'll stop the boulder. This is real time. The boulder's going. Okay, we, we race down and take that turn. Yeah, well, racing, racing down south. Turn. Race, race down to the turn. Race down to the turn. Down there. Yes. Yeah. Full bridge. Yes. Okay. All right. So you you all easily make it. Oh, you know what? Make a dexterity check at plus two. Okay. See, if, see if somebody trips over somebody else. We have to get under or over. I think we want to go under, under deck. Under our decks. So under our decks. Okay. So I need to get. I Made it. Three, no I'm not going to say anything. Made it. <laughs> Seven. How am I 19? Oh, wait, and i got to do uh, Kevlar. Ducat almost tripped on his ropes when he made it. Ooh. Kevlar has a 10 dex, and he's got an 11 roll. But Joel Plus gave two. you a bonus, too. So oh. you made it. Okay. So, so what if you roll one? You so fall a critical and you failure, but ball. that's oh. super good. <laughs> To get underneath. <laughs> All I know is. Da, 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 da. So Efren did not pull a repeat of his plummet at, at the <laughs> castle. No, I did Rock. not. I really, I'm kind of curious what the, the 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 publishing date is on this now. Mm. <laughs> oh, do you know what the publishing date is on the module? Probably says it right at the beginning. Put at least copyright on it. 1982. Uh, That's 1981. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yep. <laughs> What, uh, what a coincidence. It, amazing. So it takes about uh, two or three or four rounds for the boulder to eventually pass where, where you're hiding. That's pr- so again. we all run, and then we're like five minutes later. <laughs> Guys, you imagine the, co- the coincidence? There's only one boulder trap. For 2,000 years, it was never triggered. And now, just now, we Actually, maybe, triggered. maybe, maybe there's like five of them all stacked up. That's true. We should go check it out. Kind of yeah. like in the Goonies, when that, 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 that hear, stuff um, dropped and obviously killed Chester. Okay, well, what, what do we see down the hallway? Yeah, Joel? somehow they were still up in the air. Yeah, if, if the bangs, it was a rope that was sliced. at the end of the hallway. And okay. I still love that movie. It was a great movie. <laughs> it was a great movie. Goonies? Yeah. I love the redhead. And, by the way, pretty much blocks the way. Jerry C. Lucas. We should be able to roll it down. Oh, we way. can't go farther south. West anymore because the so boulder blocked. This blocking. hallway, anyhow, that extends. Should be able to push it out a hallway. I agree. Same size. Yeah, you're right. It extends 90 additional feet to the west and ends at a wall. Wait, can we uh, just double check where the boulder came from? Is there uh, is there more? Do we have to worry about this again? Well, we'll have to go up there and see. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty far away. Um, it's not that far away. In in this game time right now, you, you just tell us the answer. Like, I'm, jo- Joel, you realize I'm not actually walking there, right? I'm <laughs> just... <laughs> just, just the real time, Ooh. if there is another boulder there, and you walk up there, and then you turn and trip and fall on the boulder. There. I'm not a coward. I will check it out. You said this end ends, it ends, it ends Joel? I could jump to the side door, yeah. There, there's nothing else, no other traps. Ooh. Is there a room with a one-time boulder? Time boulder? It was a one-time boulder. That's amazing, that coincidence. I bet All right, you it's like that, Joel. Down yes. No doors? Corner. No doors. Secret doors, corner. guys? Let's corner search this one. the doors. Search for secret wall. doors. You'd be fine, like the angle of the... Every time we say that, I keep thinking of life forms. Would they assert that they get his emotions? And well, Eldane and Kalar says that there is a secret I wouldn't door risk in the hall. Right on the end? Yeah. I'm just going to call it a door. Came to the door. Eldane says you just flip this rock, that rock, and they'll release the, the latch. Well done. Duh. Release the Kraken. Oh, oh by, by the way, the hallways? What's that? Ten foot? Ten foot, yeah. 
By the way, I'm once again imagining this this uh, conversation with the architect of this room of this maze with the pharaoh. Now listen, here's what I want to do. I want to put one giant boulder here. Just just the one. Wait, don't you want more? No, no, just the one. That's all I need. And when someone walks through, we will trigger it up against them. But what if there are two parties in the room? Well, no, we'll just get the one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's open the door. Or do you want to go down and finish that bottom one? I think we go down and finish the bottom door first. Well, let's finish the door that we're standing right in front of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I like the one on the right because then it closes off at the end. You okay, can, fine. You can fill it all in. <laughs> you want to turn the secret door? We'll yes. Go to the secret door. All right, so El Bane opens the secret door. door, looks in. This room is filled with skeletons. The bones lie in piles on the floor. Wait, is Eldane telling us this, or are you narrating? I'm narrating. Because I'm imagining Eldane is, like, narrating right now. <laughs> they cover the floor so thickly that it's impossible to walk across the room without walking on bones. Well, Eldane, that's, that's just a matter, of a, that's a matter of opinion, Eldane. How big is this room? It's a 30 by 30 foot room. Is that still centered on it? The northeast mm. corner. Uh, we're in the northeast corner? It's full of bones. Okay, so one, two, three. Mm. Cracky bones. Does Mephistopheles hear anything or see anything with his uh, keen senses? Something like that. Nope. Any doors so, in there? No. There are two doors. Of course there are. One to the northeast. One directly south, right there. And one on the opposite wall. It would be over four feet from the corner of the uh, <laughs> ball, or from the side of the ball to the corner of the room. Oh my god, that is awesome. <laughs> that is so great, man. If you have the ball rolling down the hall, you'd have four feet from the corner of the wall <laughs> to the actual ball. Itself. Physics sucks. Can I take indie. a picture of that? Because I'm including that. If I ever so turn this into a video, I have free time. That is, that is assuming that the ball is exactly 10 foot also. Yes, indeed. Did you hear this, Mikey? No. So I Jeff figured out that if the ball fills the, the, uh, fills the hallway, uh-huh. that it's so big that it's four foot that we could crawl through on the, on the edges of it. I'll send you a picture of what he drew, but from, i got to get it from to the From the corner to the uh, edge of the ball. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Okay. Are we going to go in this room and disturb the skeletons, guys, or no? I think we have to. You said there's, a, there's doors on each edges? We could start taking bones out one at a time and just stacking them up in the hallway out of the way so that we could walk through there. Or we could just shuffle our feet. There are many, many bones. There we go. Okay, here's, here's a metatarsal. We can do a little assembly line. <laughs> <laughs> here's a... <laughs> well, I think this is one of those ear bones. If you were an evil cleric, you could just animate them and then have them walk out on their own. Oh, by the way, uh, Mephistopheles uh, pops out of the backpack and walks over to Ducat, and there's something in his mouth, and it sort of... Puh, Drops it at Ducat's feet and looks up and purrs and then hops back into the backpack of Elric. Very proud of itself. Thank you for the rat. There is a there's a Terrible. totally mutilated rat at your feet. Thank you, Bupa. Evidently, Mephistopheles likes you. I, I think he that's what like that means. <laughs> I'm okay with Mephistopheles. <laughs> Nobody got the Bupa reference except for. Bupa. Bupa. Oh, Bupu. Oh, Bupu. I'm gonna wear it on my neck. <laughs> oh, no, that was a dead lizard. Whatever. You specifically Good said your cough. at our first meeting here at John's with him. They did? Uh, that Love you are him. allergic to him. Ah. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. you're allergic to him. You like him, but you're allergic to him. Yes. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Hey, um, just as a thought, maybe Kev Lorne or I could bless or sanctify this room in some manner. So that these things are evil and will animate the, that made the prevent that from occurring. Are you? I I don't feel I am powerful enough in in the faith. What well, if we did it together? Let me ask you this: Have you ever seen a pile of bones animate as opposed to an already put together skeleton? Mm. Um, actually, I did it to you guys in Forty. <laughs> <laughs> so to answer your question, yes, we have. But that the actual, actually creature, it was like a bone something it's creature. Like a trickle, so we are in 1982 basic Dungeons Okay, so we wait, searched wait, all... Wait a minute, so we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, we're winning, it's not even advanced? <laughs> <laughs> it is basic. All right, so we, we, I guess we'll go through the door closest to us. 
The one right around the corner there? Yeah, I suppose. It opens into a hallway. The bones don't in there. There's just lots of bones. Can we do any kind of uh, forensics on the bones to see the how So how going? far do we go, Joel? Who's, who's the wise one in the group? Is it just Me. bones, or is there also... Probably you or I have a 17. 17 was the... Kevorn has a 16, so you got Kev it. Kevorn speculates that this is probably the slave's burial room. They probably threw all the slave bodies in here. I concur. On building the pyramid. That's a great point. I hadn't considered that. I, I believe this probably was the slave's burial room. It's where they buried the slaves. Were they alive when they were buried? Some of them. If they were unlucky how so far all of a sudden, I don't feel so bad about desecrating the graves. If that's because obviously they didn't give a shit. Really. <laughs> Can we walk on them, or we desecrate their? They, they held. Out. They had slaves. One, they were not two, great people. Three, ah, good point. So we can open up their four. stuff. Yeah, take their stuff. No, no, it goes. Forty. If I'm applying the twenty-first century <laughs> way of thinking, right. just the way I think of it, <laughs> this is probably the most you know where we should spend the most time in. in as opposed to those sarcophagi. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing none of us have a dog as a familiar because those bones, we'd never get the dog away from that one. <laughs> You're like, look, I got it. Look, I got it. Come on, boy. Look, I got it. Come on, boy. We got to go. Go No, we got to go, boy. Come on, boy. We got to go. Come on, boy. I'm going to count to three. Come on. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> go down, hang the corner. That hallway um, goes all the way down bottom it opens up twice on the um, west this is the so bottom Joel I'm assuming right down here it goes down 10 feet and then opens to the west is that part of the cover is that entire hallway that the boulder went down on a slope that it actually was able to maintain momentum or did it get shot out um, yes so there's a, it starts I don't here let's just say you notice any slope that where you just start, yeah, that's right. Or it could have had an anti slope protection that. charm on that. Another oh. 10 feet. Ball could have some magic on it. That's true. Anti dampeners. That's right. Anti friction. Yeah, the side. Anti friction. Oh, the side goes all the way down. Both. It stops here or there? Uh, it opens up to the east. Right. All right. That so first, the first uh, opening extends for 50 additional feet and turns to the south. Uh, well, I think we can safely say that the laser pointer is not instantly blind. One, two, three, <laughs> four, fifty feet. It's really uncomfortable. Right. 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 No. I swear, I, I think my vision started going downhill. No. <laughs> it was a great gift. Yeah, the second yeah. one extends to the same 50 feet, ends in that hallway. And on the bottom, after 30 feet, there's a door. Oh, right there. That's that. The hallway continues south. There's a door and open. Well, right there, there's a door. How <laughs> far back to get? That's the trick. That's the secret. Was everybody else surprised with how few uh, this bags of pellets were left? Small ones. Nope. Another thirty. There were bags of pellets left in the garage. And it turns to the left. It's going to be a race now between the pellets and the winter. Well, I'll be bite your tongue. Thank so you. I come down here to here. All you gotta do is kill a tauntaun and slice over and stun it. Put jewels. A big enough one for the whole family. Yeah, well, yeah, get a big tauntaun, right? And a gas mask. Do you think that's because he opened up, like, the stomach or, like, more of the digestive tract? Did it smell bad? Did it smell bad? Because I don't think most animals would not smell bad on the inside. I would think this is a stinky creature. Okay, it's not. It looks like it's a side where you're going. Okay, guys, let's, let's finish this loop here. Just to see how this ties together. Yep, yep. Let's do it for secret doors along this route. Sure. I yeah. it was a carnivore just yeah. because it didn't seem like it was a good thing. secret doors. Yeah, it connects to where the boulder is. What was the base of their food? Yeah. Yeah. I can fill it in, okay. What was the base of their food? Yeah, their horn, those horns were more defensive than offensive. It's a, it's a fun question. 
They must have been good diggers. They could dig into this and all this. See, because you, you, you can make the argument that they were brought there. But then why would, why would the ice piece be there? And how fish yeah. that's not the marble. So we just bring them along just in case we want to go. Because we need some, some things aren't cut off in this movie. <laughs> They're so huge. They have to be frequency. All right, so I guess we'll yeah, so we we'll check the store. We still got that door. We need to get through the four foot opening there. We'll go all the way around. Well, let's finish this door here. Let's finish this door and then we'll go over here. Yeah. Finish these areas off. Wait, we're not gonna. Okay, so that, that door that door opens up. The walls in this room. Just the rest of the the walls of this room show painted scenes of a man signing documents and organizing tax collection. A wooden coffin that has been smashed open is lying on the floor. So do we find the accountant's tomb? It's Joel's tomb. Six pale-skinned <laughs> humans stand around the coffin. They all have wounds bad enough to kill a normal person. Do the, do the, Zo these are zombies. Do the clerics recognize them as creatures of undeath? They're zombies. No. Yeah, they do. These are the zombies. Joel, did you invent this room in honor of your profession? <laughs> <laughs> the chamber room's very old. Oh, Obviously, yeah. it's the end of tax season. Because they're all zombies at this point. <laughs> <laughs> they all bear the scars of tax season. Well, They've I all can't, taken enough to be killed. But... I cannot bear to allow creatures of such evil to, to remain. I'm with this guy. I thought yeah. we couldn't they, kill zombies. They turn and head toward you when the door opens. Oh, game on. Let's go. Turn. Ah, I think, Jeff, you're up for initiative. Four. That's a good roll. Zombies always lose initiative. Oh. You, you want me to turn right, you're try to turn right away and then they'll hopefully they'll I love it. I love it. Coward. I love it. All right, so I'm attempting to turn them, Joel. You go, man. You go. Yeah. This will make life a lot easier if you can hit it. Zombie. I need a seven. Can you blow up zombies? No. Twenty. Oh, I'm sure you can't blow up zombies? Now roll your 1d6. And 1d12. Gets, oh, 1d12, rather. Get six or better. Seven. Yes! Oh, this is no longer an issue. <laughs> so the six zombies turn around and slowly walk the other opposite way. Guys, if you wouldn't mind. We have three rounds. Chink, 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 chink. We may, I don't know, it's hard. How, are we going to be able to kill all six in three rounds? Joel let us dispatch them last time with a knife to the head. That was so half as, oh, yeah. But those are... Do you want us to roll? Do we need to roll this, play this out? No. Okay. Who, who does it? All of us. Uh, let's see, one for one zombie for each of the main characters. So the, so the blood splurts out on you and starts burrowing into the It gets in my mouth. Rock rubs. Oh, I feel a fever. Oh. <laughs> guys, tie me up. Okay, so there's a sarcophagus in here? Oops. I'm not guys, kidding. Uh, I kind of, my hand got close to his mouth. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> as it was running away from us. I the reached around to cut. So cut it's the time. wooden coffin was smashed open and it's lying on the ground. Is okay. There around the wooden coffin? I guess we'll look around the wooden coffin. Well, no, there's nothing of value in the room. In the coffin? Is there anything on the room? suspects that the room was already looted. Hey, Mikey. The zombies might have eaten something. Maybe you should go through their stomachs. That is really clever. Well, I thought they smelled bad. The writers of the module probably didn't anticipate that, but that's really clever. <laughs> um... What are the zombies wearing? Are they just like plain clothes? Are they naked? Clothes are disintegrating, rotting rags. Where? And their wounds? They pockets. Uh, are they like sword wounds? Or is it uh, like. Just curious. We jam in the sarcophagus again, right? Uh, you know, like skin disease, lesions, hmm. bruises. But not like battle wounds. So guys, I think we should take the boulder, push it around in front of us. As a just, just throughout the rest of the maze. <laughs> <laughs> Keep everything back. Turn oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Can you find the sloping passageway down? Roll it. There's enough. Must we can roll that. Up I down. guess we could take that all the way back to the ghosts and then shoot it into their room. <laughs> all right, let's you ready? Let's hit the door on the right. All right. Blue door on the right. So you're gonna crawl underneath. Wait, wait. We're gonna we're gonna eschew that open passage from the blue door. All right, fine. Gotta finish that section. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Ducat is OCD, and he's been waiting to to finish napping that corner of the. I want to color more. 
An elaborate jeweled coffin lies in the center of the room. Next to the coffin is a worm-like creature, nine feet long and three feet high. What color is it? It has many legs, and its mouth is surrounded by eight tentacles. Ooh. Each tentacle is two feet long. Carry a crawler? Don't use your out of game knowledge. It's not a purple worm. I bet you our ranger knows that. It looks like as though it's a. No, 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 what no, color no. is it? Not purple. I have heard of such creatures. They are often called crawlers that eat carry. Or have I not heard of such creatures? <laughs> He's got to get his monster moves. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, Joel has just produced a dusty three ring binder. It's older than his child and mine wow. combined. And I think I see like the red of like the original basic. the original basic set. D and D basic. That's awesome. Wow. Was the Monstrous Compendium of D&D a three-ring binder? That didn't come out until second edition. Okay, because that's what I remember. It's an absence of color. White. White Yeah, yeah. A big black head. Like one of those albino shrimps or something. Or cave fish. It's a cave Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. We are in a cave. It's remarkably well lit, actually. Roll roll your wisdom check to see if you know what this is. I, 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 there's a minimum wisdom needed, but I think I'm right at it. You want to roll under? These are basic monsters. I'll give you a plus two. Okay, my wisdom is a 14. So you want to roll 16 or less? Roll the 10. Okay, so you recognize it as a carrying crawler. Oh, yeah! It is a crawler that needs carry on. You know that Ooh. they can paralyze you if they hit you. They can paralyze you if they hit you, but I don't know if they can paralyze me. What if I have two pieces of luggage? Will it only eat one? Like, what if I check one and I I carry on the other one? What if we bring the zombies into the other world? Stop reading my mind. I'm just thinking we go throw two zombies in there as far as 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 snackies, yeah. and then we hit it all at once for the seat. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I never would have done that when I was 11, but that's great now that I'm 41. This, 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 close the door. This is where D and D falls apart. Need to roll for initiative. This, this thing's not gonna wait around one. Okay. Can this thing open doors? Whose turn is it? Michael. I already want it. I think we went around the horn already. Last game. Your last game. Good, Mikey. Yeah, you, want, you, you want to make sure you get zombies. zombies. Congratulations. Where we're wrong. <laughs> you, want, uh, you, you guys need me to roll initiative? Is that it? Yeah, yeah please. Go ahead. Okay. I don't want that pressure. Uh, six. <laughs> All right. Party's got initiative. You can run if you want. Mm-hmm. Let's just nuke it. I think this thing's pretty bad, but I think we take it. We can focus fire on one thing. All right, are we hitting with, are we going with arrows or are we going with melee for your, for your fighter types? I'm going with arrows because I'm a ranger. <laughs> well, you're an arrow guy. He has the word range in his profession. <laughs> Fifteen. That's a hit. Three damage. Um, Carrie? <laughs> Carrie it is. You named it. You yeah, hit it. You're not going to bonus points for that. Oh, oh come on! Uh, <laughs> Yeah. One more for you. Gotcha. What was it in the backyard again? That's like naming your dog, hey doggy. Well, That's true. Right? Actually, I think the D.O.G. is a great Storm, name for a dog. Sherman. Sherman the Worman. Sherman, Sherman the Worman. Sherman, Sherman, Sherman. Sherman works. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure my... Uh, the Shermanator. Eight... <laughs> my, my eight misses the, the second arrow. Okay. Against Sherman. Eight! You've already ruined the couch. Yeah, and the chair. D- Thanks. So, the first one hit? First one hit for four. Three. Three? Three. Three. Okay. Go ahead, darter. I'll throw mine. Yeah, why don't you miss with your throwing arrows? Twelve. Well, is, is that against dex or strength? I think it's a strength. Hmm. Should be, yeah. Yes, when you throw an axe, it's strength. When you throw a knife, no, okay, it's axe. Oh, sure. Hey, he hit. Hey. What? He hated. What size of creature is this? Gotta be large, right? Wait, this isn't a, a giant type creature. It's, it's nine it's feet wide and three feet tall. I mean, nine sounds pretty large to me. Yeah. Nine feet tall? Medium? I go large, no? We're medium. I think it's large, but. Well, he also does not do more damage against the medium creature. Size large. Yeah, nine feet long. Throwing axe is no, actually it's less against the large. Good job. One d six down to one d four. That's okay. I'm gonna whip up. Damage. I'm gonna whip up my bardish. 
You got your strength bonus. Is that this three to twelve? Okay. Three to eighteen. My oh heavy horse lance. Sorry. Where's that? Mikey, go ahead. All right. So uh, two handed sword is three to eighteen. Uh, Kalar, she'll go first with her arrows. How do you roll? Three to six. Yeah. Three to six. Yeah. She rolls a 16 and a 12. 16 hits, the 12 misses. Okay. And she does three points of damage. Okay. Six uh, damage, is that going to kill us? Ali will go. He's going to shoot some arrows. He rolls a 15 and a 11. Those are both hits. Good job. Both hits. Oh, he's level he's four, that's right. He's level four, he's got lower. And he yeah. does nine points of damage. And a hearing crawler flips over, it's, it's dead. Wow. The sword wants to know how can we never get used. He wants to do some killing. <laughs> oh, that, oh, absolutely. I mean, why don't you go do, use, why don't you go do, do some dismembering with it right now? He says that um, he's gonna, he wants to find another owner if you're not gonna start using them. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. What? He needs to just settle down. We'll get we'll get to killing we'll get to killing just soon enough. Um, he Kill him right back. Nobody said he's a reasonable sword. So <laughs> you can tell him that. But, you know, he's Someone listen. tries to kill you. Try to kill him right back. <laughs> oh, <that line>. <laughs> <laughs> How big is this room, Joel? Uh, I collect my arrows. Yeah. I grab my throwing axe. I didn't do anything. I show. Sure. Uh, stand there, and Jolly good show. The door in the middle of the hall. Gentlemen, I am worried that we have to watch out now <coughs> for the carrion crawler crawler, which which <laughs> carrion, is, carrion crawler? it eats carrion crawlers. <laughs> yeah, it's 18 feet long and six feet wide. <laughs> you might not make it by the uh, four foot. Uh, is this all <laughs> fillable over here? I still don't know how the carrion crawler got in here. Yeah, it's just been hanging here. Does awesome. it was it did it come in when it was two feet and then it grew in the room? It after grew after eating nothing. Yeah. Let's, well, see, yeah. let's see how well you guys were paying attention. Hmm. What was the first part of the description of the room? Jeweled sarcophagus. Yeah. Come Very on. Good jeweled coffin. Right. Mm-hmm. The elaborate jeweled, jeweled coffin. coffin. Yeah, it was a jeweled coffin. If there's one thing we're going to pick up on, is the treasure. <laughs> Belding says there's a lot of jewels worth a lot of money in that coffin. And is there a body in there anywhere that we can tell? <coughs> uh, there was a... There, I mean, there was a body in there. But it is no longer there. Any items besides jewels no, there? Sir. Oh. No. No other items. So if he pries with his dagger, he can pop out jewels left and right? And how many jewels is he able to uh, oh, reach? Oh, there is something on the body. Sorry. There's a set of lock picks. Oh. Huh. Oh, I'll be, I'll be happy to grab those lock picks. I guess we give them to the cleric. I don't know. Yeah, because I'm else. good with my fingers. Let's, else else there's a trap you know, let's give them to the dwarf with the fat, oh. stubby fingers. <laughs> <laughs> they give you a little history in this module that's impossible to discover or find anything meaningful. It says the master thief from a reign of. King Ivesner and Queen Zenobia used his skills to steal a place near the king and queen in the afterlife. He managed to exchange his own coffin for that of the nobleman who was supposed to be buried in this room. That's fascinating. That is That's awesome. Stupid. Who in the world is ever going to know that? Yeah. Well, I think that there are Make spells. Make sure you do this for me. Yeah. Make well, sure you switch my coffin. Oh, you have to speak with dead or something. You have to speak you with dead. Die. If you have um, speak with stone, uh, like stone tell. Like, there's legend lore if you go up high enough. That's why there's lockpicks in there. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley cuts open the carrying crawler, see if there's anything inside. And then maybe, like, one Quite of these... Neat. The other thing is, like, your character may have these lockpicks, and they might become their trusty lockpicks, and when they're finally level 15, they can go to a high-powerful mage and ask, what's the story of my lockpicks? And then finally they can find out. Be careful, it's a little poisonous. There's so what I mean, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to so step off a tentacle a on the carrion crawler and add that to the collection of curious monster party parts. Okay. Are you going to start attaching those to yourself? That's pretty so. big. It's two feet long. No, no. I'm not cutting off two feet. I'm cutting off like an inch off the top. Just a little off the top. Thank you, Adam. Just to add into my spell regents pile. Any other uh, secret doors? No, I'm just not. Nope. <laughs> 
Nothing going south or east. How many, wait, how many jewels were we able to recover from the coffin by prying the jewels out? Well, we're going to spend the time going. Sure. Well, yeah, we're trapped in a desert. What else are we going to do? I, th I think it's camp time. Sure, yeah. Dinner. Restore spells. Lock door. Yeah. One of those. Okay, so you're able to pry off um, oh, um, 10 jewels. That are worth a total of three thousand gold pieces. Oh my gosh. Okay, then now we're gonna spend more time and pry more jewels. <laughs> That's all. The jewels. We damage the rest. Wait, you said it was jewel be studded. Like I'm imagining what yeah, one six sides. We got the biggest one. A hundred and one GP. Just, just FYI, just to give you a rough idea, so far that's eight thousand gold pieces tonight. Wow. Can we live on a thousand gold pieces for the rest of our lives? We can make it thirty thousand gems, each worth uh, ten silver pieces. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. No, uh, no, if I had a thousand gold pieces, I would need to work now. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. Alrighty then. All right, so we go back, and do we want to go to the corridor in the bottom or to the door through the bone room? Oh, do you need to roll for a wandering monster if we're sleep if we're getting you yeah. know six hours that's or eight hours of sleep? Okay. Everybody is uh, needs healing. Did anybody need healing? Mike, no. do you want to heal those three points? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you know what? Just say he's done it, because um, we have like four he heal lightning spells. Uh, heal stuff if we're going to rest and, and get uh, fresh healing, sure. Yeah. yeah, then you're you're back to max. <clears throat> let's, okay. Yeah, let's go through the door in the bone room, because I don't want to have to crawl around that stupid boulder. Okay, we could take the long way through the bone room to go to the hallway, too. We'll go through the bone room, we'll ignore that door. This way up here. What do you want, Adam? You're short. You call it. Bone room. Going through the door in the bone room, Joel. All right. Okay. This uh, opens up into a hallway that goes. Wait, did we search the bone room for any? Yes, yeah. we found lots yeah, of bones. Bone okay. All right. After <laughs> um, 50 feet, it turns down. So. Okay, so one, two, so three, 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 four. Five, 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 yeah, we have to make sure if we're missing stuff or no, not important. I feel like uh, you could engage door. in like a science project, like in biology, where you take an owl right there and you break it apart and you mm -hmm. find all the bones and you I put try them to together. Assemble a Back in uh, our biology class, we had this one kid, Dave Attic. He took three owl pellets and he created like a winged chimera a... skeleton monster with like three heads. <laughs> Like a little TMS. He was a little weird. He was awesome. And then... <laughs> What's wrong? The idea is they took them and put them right there. Okay. The key channel. So you have this beautiful display of like the house. Am I in it? Or is it below it? Bird, mole, three-headed TMS, mouse, bird, mole. It was Did awesome. Did the teacher like not realize what was happening? Or? I think she just like, left everybody's working there. She thought it was very That's great. one, two, <laughs> three... <laughs> Four. We, you have to realize we graduated from the class where Rich Burns made an actual suit of plate armor and wore it to school once. Yeah. And also, he I will made point a out, suit of plate armor. I'm sure it was I've, more of a sheet metally thing. But yeah, it's still. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure I've told you the story. Uh, Dave Attic and Jay Abu left hand side goes all the way down. Managed to get a um, chunk of yeah. um, potassium. It goes down to the bottom. They the lost the 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 section. No, they they had it. I mean, it was like a fist sized chunk, and they took it. Holy hell! And they went to the backyard of a neighbor, and they threw it in the pool. Oh, no more pool. It was a huge explosion. It broke the pool. Yeah. Yeah. They said. Yeah, they that's had no to, joke. They had to pay for the damage, and they got in trouble. But later, in talking to them, they both agreed. It was so worth it. It was absolutely <laughs> worth it. Yeah. What about having the J. Abdullah? J. Abdullah was a smart kid, man. Yeah. All right, so here's what we got, guys. You want to see if that loops around at the bottom? You yeah. want to hit? You want to hit some doors? What do you want to do? Uh, take a screen print first, and then check out that loop. Let's do the loop. Yeah. I'm wondering if the king and queen might be one level down. Maybe these are all the servants. Or maybe the nobles and servants of. I'm just trying to think. Do we have American Pie in here? Because I'm thinking... What do we got here? We, the we connect to the bottom? King and Queen. And down there? Yeah. Oh, there was uh, one coat. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Yes. One 
no voice. We may have um, we may have a deck of cards. All right, let's hit this doorway here on the inside. Oh, what, what do we see when we, we look to the left? King, queen, and knave. That's a joker. Long hallway. Mm -hmm. uh, goes an additional 70 feet and turns north. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because I think that's going to be the corner of the... Uh, and it also looks familiar to Darker, helpful as usual. Thank you. Oh, it looks like the guys look familiar to us. Check out our map. Yeah. yeah. Where's yeah, the X? This, this, the X, if you look at the map, there's a long hallway going up there, and the X is uh, up there somewhere. Up there somewhere. All right. Now, let's not worry about that for the moment. I ask you, let's, let's go back to that door that goes into that room that doesn't go anywhere. Right there. If we didn't have that map with the X, we would still do that, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, the second one or third one? How does the room photo will be down anymore, right? Mm -hmm. How does that map enrich our experience? Mikey, how's the map work for you? Do you we'll, see it good? Once we see what... Yeah, actually, it's working great. Good. All right, let's hit this room. Yeah. Because that's a pretty... I'm pretty sure that's a room. <laughs> 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 it's not just a door, it's a room. It's not going to lead to a hallway. Pretty sure I'm also imagining that uh, our party... Uh, cartographer is like busting out like different inks now. He's got yeah. blue, he's got yellow, he's got red, he's like... Help him since we're 40 by 40 run. Perfect. Uh, yeah. A white ivory coffin lies in a niche in the east wall. Painted on the walls are scenes from court life focusing on the life of ladies and waiting to Queen Zenobia. Something like that. Right. By the way, I'm just thinking about the last room with the accountant. Like, here lies Joel. He was a fantastic accountant. Now, we need to make a summary of his life. How about that time when he did that audit and he found that missing 13 copper? Let's document that. Let's put that on the wall. Joel, they're mocking you. It's the chamberman's burial room. <laughs> like, they couldn't come up with the most exciting... Was that what they called back then? Uh, I think he was probably the tax collector. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's a good point. All right, so what do we got? We got a, we got a he collected white ivory coffin. Yeah, was able to cover it up. Yeah, was he's all he's the on the wall. All right, so let's check. Yeah, let's check the coffin, ladies in waiting. Getting mm. lucky. Check it out, Force Mike. Check it. Mike says. Mike says the coffin is empty. So it's really full of gold. <laughs> ivory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking ivory's worth value. I know. Or at least as a spell component. We might need that later. Let's it's ivory color? No, it's a white ivory coffin. Oh, isn't it is isn't ivory, ivory regulated? Yeah. We can't just carry ivory around. This implies that they had access to, like, elephants. I don't think ivory was regulated, regulated quite a bit. How do you form it? They I mean, you, you think ivory trunks. Yeah, it grows from creatures, right? Right, so how do you form it into a coffin? You have to have a crap load of it, pieces? and you have to join the pieces. You have or to oh, guys, really big guys, elephants. Guys, magic. Oh, yeah. we're all done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the coffin is empty. So we search for secret compartments, and then afterwards we smash a little piece so we can have some ivory for ourselves. And the room is empty except for the coffin. Okay, so we take a few pieces of ivory for ourselves. Okay. Well, we move the coffin. And we search the room for secret doors, because we know that it seems to be some extra space. There's no secret doors. All right. And is it, on, that is it on a dais? No. It's, it's in a niche. niche. We take the coffin out of the niche. That's good. A very heavy coffin. It's ivory. We're very, very careful. There's very, no, there's we just like toss it on the ground. We want to break apart and take some pieces. There's 13 of us, and we're some of us are very strong. 13 of yeah. Right. Almost two, two four, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 nine, ten. Oh, wait, ten. ten. One, eight. Two, with Mike. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, excuse me. Right. Sorry. Eight. So. Well, all right. You clumsily move the coffin. Falls down on the ground. Makes big noise. Shatters. Shatters. <laughs> Nothing else. These cracks. And is there anything in the niche? Ah. Thought you found your niche, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I cram right. Adam in the niche and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> so much for the coffin room. Moving on. 
Uh, door at the top, door at the middle, or let's all the way we recognize? Let's do north, yeah. I'm with, I'm with Adam. I mean, Ephron. Zach Ephron. 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 That's Oh boy. It has right. meaning. It translates into, into common to a, as a large room. It's a 60 foot across by 40 feet up and down. I actually did some research. Uh, 30 feet this way and 30 feet this way. Then it's 70. Well, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60 and 4 up. <laughs> Is that right? Is that the one? That's true. That's true. This room contains several large tables. Around the walls are a number of large jars and casks. There is a bin in the northwest corner of the room. No doors? Is there anything in those casks, Dwarf? Let's do the bin first. No? I just knew the Dwarf could smell if there was anything in the casks. Oh, true, true. No, he can't smell. He only smells himself. <laughs> we inspect everything. So, oh, uh, no. as you start moving around the casks, um, pick some of them. Uh, Elric. Darter, sorry, Darter says, watch out. There's, there, there are shadows that are going to attack us. And there are shadows jumping out of you, which normally it surprise you on a roll of one to five, but I rolled a six. So I'm sorry. Say, say, <laughs> roll okay. guys. Aren't uh, rangers uh, surprised like less? Ooh, as well? Yeah. You're only surprised one in six times. So, roll so, for yeah. My turn? No, yeah. yeah, back to you. Five. I was surprised, like, has well, nice I'm going to bring out my, my, my holy symbol. For the undead? Assuming it's a shadow? a shadow. A shadow, yes. Ooh. 17, I needed a 13. Ooh, you did it. I turned five. That's a critical roll. How many were there? There were five. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. You this, just turned this into a much easier encounter. Oh, it just, you know, this is this is where it sucks to be the DM. Like, this is gonna be a fun encounter. No. No, no let's just keep things. Right there. <laughs> These things are deadly. I think. I don't know. So the shadows just kind of collapse into the ground. You know, we're moving up the, the difficulty scale here. Do they flee, or are oh, they yeah. still attackable? Well, they're trying to flee into the ground. We just take them out. Yeah, we try to take them out. Do normal weapons even work on these things? Ashley has her magic sword. She doesn't know how magical it is, but she uses that. They can only be hit by magical weapons. Jeff has magic weapons. I think I don't have Mike's one. sword is aching to... Go, Mikey, go. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, sword's coming out. Kevhorn and, and Elric attempt to, to attack with their weapons and find that the weapons are useless. Uh, Efron uses harsh language. Save your, save your arrows. Yeah. That was a good attack. Those guys can do some serious damage to you. Mm -hmm. I'll call it lucky. I'll call it what it is. Can we burn them? No, that, but we no. don't have to name them. Because I couldn't come up with anything other than Peter Pan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in any case, the shadows are destroyed. Phew. Even. Man, you guys are getting the easiest experience points because of me tonight. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All Although right. I don't know, there's five of them, and we only get three rounds of attacks, and there's only three people with shut magical up, weapons. Bob, shut up, shut up. So I have two magical weapons. You could give one to somebody. I can attack with both hands. <laughs> or that's, what, that, that's how Sherry feels every night. <laughs> how many hands do you have? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, so we check the room. We check this thing, the thing in the northwest corner. Okay, the doors and casks are filled with various spices that are used for embalming. <sighs> the spices for dinner. are There's no garlic. Uh, worthless. <laughs> They've been sitting there so long. The bins filled with rotten linen winding cloths. Hmm. Near the rotten linen cloth is a potion and a chest. Oh. You know, to sidetrack for one second, we have not found the stairs down yet. No, we haven't. No, but I'm sure that's the X. All right, so what's the potion? Somebody want to sample? I think the dwarf should sample. He's probably got the best resistance. Yeah, he's better against poison. Take That's a little true. tiny sip and tell us what it is, dwarf. <laughs> look at the look at his face. Like, what are you talking about, Willis? It tastes like much. You want a sip? Do you feel lighter, stronger? Faster? Healer? Heal. I actually take a sip this time. <laughs> <laughs> Sicker. And he grows somewhat translucent. Ooh. Potion of invisibility. 
I don't feel any different here. It has been sitting we, around a while, though. Yeah, we always did a little side hip. But so it's true. Anyone okay. who wrote that? They want to write that one down? Yeah, I'll write it down. But we should give it to someone who could take advantage of it. Like, I think our thief, because he can get the backstab on it. He's already sneaky enough. Well. Okay, let's look at the chest. Mikey? Yeah, okay. The chest. Check in the chest. Does it, are there any locks on it? No. No? No. All right, so... Uh, traps? Yeah, I was just saying, checking in for any traps. Are we touching are, it with our bare hands? There are no traps. The mm. mimic. Okay, so... Um, we take it to the we're stairs. Gonna, uh, we're going to open it up. Tie a rope around it. We open it up, and it's absolutely full of gold. Just How much gold, Mike? Approximately 3,000 gold. So it's like what? 12,000? We can never longer carry all, all no. of gold. No. <laughs> are you going to carry this with you? In the chest. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Who's going to carry this? Darter, he's strong. Darter's got 17 strength. You're just going to walk around the hallways of a caravan? Hold, hold on, shadows. I'm going to put this chest down. <laughs> well, we can cast floating. I don't have floating discs. That's you just said there's is. buckets or there's barrels in here, right? We can, have to, we can put the gold in there. We can get rid of our silver. Do we have any we'll push silver? Push it. Roll it down the hallways. Didn't we find a bunch of silver? <laughs> can we just unload the silver and just replace it with gold? <laughs> hey, um, you're losing it. My wife's fine. Wow, bless you. Thank you. Hey, Eldain, do you recall? <laughs> Bless you. How much silver we have right now? How much silver? Yeah, because we could replace. Yeah, um, I can give you a rough idea. All right, let's not let's not worry too much about this. We'll sort out treasure at the end, I guess. I just propose we swap out the whatever thousands of silver we have with thousands of gold. We we, we can do that. We can get rid of a lot of the silver and just take the three thousand gold pieces if you want. I mean, all right, you guys can figure that out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Searching search search for secret doors. There's no secret doors in this room. They're missing this huge section in the middle. We've searched everywhere for secret doors to get in there. Guys, that's where the uh, mechanism is for the uh, floor above us. Maybe. Maybe. Very good point. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess we'll hit that door down there, Joel. Oh, okay. Density of gold is about twice that of silver. So, um, the, the, the door to this room has a two-foot-wide hole gnawed in it near the floor. Giant rats. We already killed them. Or carrot crawler. Yeah, Asps. Like that. You go first. <laughs> Very dangerous. Why did it have to be snakes? Uh, you know, let's let's knock on the door and see if anything comes out, rather than us go in. I take the butt of my rifle. Oh. Uh, bang on the window. So we bang on the door, trying to get anything in there to come out. I'm ready to stab anything that comes out. You hear. Um, some squeaking noise in there. Mm. Some somewhat vicious squeaking noise. Dire rats. Mephistopheles, what do you hear? Do you recognize that? And he gives a little hiss. If there's some kind of creature in there. Thank you, Mephistopheles. Some sort of bird creature, maybe. Oh. Bird, huh? I want to catch a bird. Mephistopheles says it might it might be a winged creature of some sort, kind of bird. You know what? I flick it off. You just gave it the bird? <laughs> yep. Gave the bird the bird. Yep. That's the word. Word, word, word. Word is the bird. I was looking it up in the, in the book. Well, should we open up the door and go wreak havoc? Hell have no fury. All right. We kick open the door, hopefully roll initiative, and uh, exterminate the room right. with prejudice. Exterminate Little doctor who's there. Bob. Oh, Bob, you in a turn. D6. <laughs> and we rolled a four. Have we rolled less than a four for an it all night? Well, well we I rolled lost a, one. I rolled a two. I rolled a two okay. once. What do we got, Joel? We rolled. That looks like a. There are a, um, three tries. giant shrews. Ooh. The hell's a shrew? Shakespeare. Yeah. The Why like it's brown fur rats and long snouts. Ooh. Have you met my wife? They can burrow, climb, yeah. and jump up to five feet. No, that's being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing she doesn't listen to this. <laughs> it's not like she didn't listen to anything Adam says. I know, right? <laughs> I know. I wonder if you had talk with animals, can we turn these into trained aids? <laughs> I believe what you said was attack. Yeah. 
Extreme crash. <laughs> Giant shoes often choose one area to hunt in and will fight to defend their area from other animals. How big is the room? Including humans. This is a 40 by 50 foot room. 40 feet across, 50 feet north south. So I attack Kate. <laughs> 0-10, There are three, right? Yeah, I don't ask me the names of any of anybody else in that play. <laughs> it's good, though. 50 feet up to him? Bianca, I think was the younger sister. Oh, that's correct. good memory, man. I'm on it. I'm looking. What play is and this? The father was, I want to say Batista, but that's not quite right. That's right. Something like that. Timmy and the Shrew. Oh. Okay. Okay, you went and missed? No, I hit with a 21, 4, 3, 23. Did you kill it? Five damage. I doubt it. Kate, Bianca, That's on Kate. And I'll fire my second one at Kate. 16. Okay. Petruchio, Lucencio, Tranio. Efron. The Ranger. Hortensio. That's a hit. One damage. Yeah. Biandola. Good, Jeff. Shrews are not very powerful. Mm. They're vicious but they're attackers, but, they, but they're not very strong. Got the glass jaw. Is there... Glass far, how far away are they, you said? Oh, I'm trying to Christopher Sly. How far away? In the, is that in the room somewhere. You yeah, I'll throw my uh, throwing axe. I was in it. <laughs> oh, no, you were? I was Christopher 20? Sly. Oh, that's the only reason I remember that. That's awesome, dude. Six damage. Wow. Oh, with the 20. Which one? Kate. Kate. I, I will actually aim at another one. I'm assuming Kate's dead at this point. Bianca. Yeah, I agree. Bianca. Bianca. Although Bianca wasn't a shirt. A three and a four. Those are both misses. Okay. At least we're not saying like Pac. Ducat <laughs> will throw three darts, I guess. Yeah. A one, a 17, and a 20. Wow. 17 and 20 hits. Well, what about the one? <clears throat> sure. Uh, five damage total. Bianca? Yes. Okay. And uh, Elric fires at Bianca as well with three darts and does a 9, a 17, and a 14. Darts 1d3. Mm. I just roll both of those, don't count fours. Oh, that's good. What was it? 9, 14, 17. Oh, uh, 10 minutes. 10 things I hate about you. And uh, 1 damage. Strength. And then Kevlorn the the strikes with his footman's lance Updated. and gets a 10. Mace. Uh, sorry, footman's mace. Okay, he's done. Mikey, what's left here? Oh, okay. Eldin's going to run in there with his sword. Oh, baby. Go for the one that's uninjured. Christopher the Sly. Uninjured? Okay, he's going to go for the one that's uninjured. Christopher Sly. Christopher Sly. Spread around that damage. All right, and... He rolls a 14. Who? Who is this, Elding? <laughs> yes, Elding. Is that defusing a that, sword? That's a, um, that's a mess. He's using a sword. Oh, wait, hold on. Plus two is a 16. That's a mess. Ooh. Wow. He's hard to hit. Dang. And that's why I don't use you, sword. And you mm -hmm. don't have any strength bonuses, do you? No. Okay. Okay. Anybody else have any attacks? Is, did Kalar go? Oh, no, Kalar didn't go yet. Okay. She can shoot with her arrows. Let's see what she gets. All right. What class is Kalar? She's a ranger, too? She'll yeah, she's an elder. She rolls a 14 and a 10. She can't have any more rangers. I didn't count right now as a ranger, but yes. She well, she will come back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which will be an 122 XP. I think we've got that. We have that. Yeah. Is, that is that everybody? That's everybody. Yeah. Actually, yep. <clears throat> she missed pathetically. So, this creature is going to. Uh, is two of them dead? Two of them are dead. Phew. Christopher Sly's the only one left. The third one's Sly. going after Kev Moore. And he's got the, he's got the glass cannon. He hits hard, but he goes down quick. How did get through midnight already? I know. Time flies when you're D and D. We actually made a lot of progress tonight. We did. We did. My kids call it dad. Well, just think dad, you're going to dad? Yeah, I'm going to dad. <laughs> just think what we could have done in that room, though. 
what what is sarcophagus it? with the four urns. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And, uh, the shroom misses. <laughs> Solve the problem with perpetual motion. Kevin right. we thanks the goddess. Is it a gendral? The shroom mist. Ready to fight on, so roll for initiative. Oh, yeah. Right. One. Shroom wins initiative. And this time he dives at Ducat. What? Mm -hmm. AC three. That's nice first. And then this is Ducat. Uh, the braces are working for yeah. it. Ducat returns fire. 18, 16, 16 for darts. Ooh. 18 hits. 16 hits. Wow, uh, this thing is hard to hit. One. <laughs> point. Ashley will follow up. 16 with the bow for Ashley, level 2 fighter. That's it. 6. Whoa, nice. Yeah, that'll finish it off. Because Sly is dead. He's not so sly now. Mm. Yeah, those screws are pretty aggressive, but. All right. Uh, so painted on the walls of this room were scenes from a throne room with a man giving advice to kings and queens. In the center of the room lies a wooden coffin, large holes have been gnawed in the sides of the coffin. How much one of it they took shiny things and put them in there? Who's the advisor of the king? Or they took the shiny things out of there and put them somewhere where we'll never find them. That's true. Well, let's go and There's search There's only one way to find out. Open it up and take a look. This coffin is empty. The body and treasure is in stone. Son of a... Do we think we should start skinning these things and taking the meat? I mean, eventually we do have to pack to travel across the desert. And it seems a shame to waste the creatures. Uh, well, it is <clears throat> midnight. Are we done for the night? I think this is where we end tonight. Yeah. It's a good spot, Joel. I, th I think Joel's ready to end it. I can see him fading over there. <laughs> yeah, that's, we're not going to finish this level tonight. No, that's okay. And then we know that your, your tax season is beginning, so we may have to call a halt and uh, come back once you've survived tax season, too. Or are you available in two weeks, Joel, do you think? I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see. But we'll, we'll say this. This last passageway goes up 170 feet. No, 130 feet, 13 squares. And you can recognize that on the map now. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, so I can, can, can connect the dots now. La 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 la. With the treasure map thing. Does it connect to this one, Joel? No. Okay. It goes up. Does it that include the bottom one or not? So 130 feet, including the bottom one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Can I cross the line here and fill in? Uh, I wouldn't fill anything. Okay. And there's a wall right there. The X is right there. Third square down. The X? Okay. Let's go with the pencil. And the X. The X marks the spot. Right there. Yeah. Look at that, I drew an X. Alright, gentlemen, we are two weeks out because Bob is going on vacation. Cool, enjoy your vacation, man. Go, everybody, go warm up your car. Then we'll clean everything up. Okay. So, Mikey, a pleasure right, as boys. usual. Good job tonight, sir. Yeah, you guys have a good one. I'll catch up with you guys in two weeks. Thanks, Mike. Mike. Sounds good, Thanks, man. Mikey. Take care. All right, man. See you guys later. Right. Take it easy. Hey, we see you again. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.